Let's get it. Thursday throwdown. You know how we do. This time I'm doing a little something different. I'm playing nothing but reggae joints. That's right. Reggae fucking joints. That's what I'm doing today. Got some vibes. Cartel. Reggae joints up in here. What's up? Still set Still set tight. Whatever the fuck. Yo, name is Whoop Whoop. Me love it when you whine on it. Me love how your pussy care for me. Me love it when you fuck me. When you fuck me. What up, CC? Don't come back again. All right, then my cup to your hand. Should be seen more if you may not caught again. I'm in love how your body just stand to leave in. Remember the last fuck that where you spend? I know one of my pussy jardin. Your nipple sweet, just like so pleasant. Put a big icky if you show me boyfriend. Mm. Well, all right, right. Can you put on it tight, tight? I up me foot, them I like high. Wake me up with a big lamp pipe. Anything you say, me cocky, don't light. Teacher, hold me with all of your might. We a cup fucking at the middle of the night. Boy, me a come, Lord Jesus Christ. Baby, come make me ride you like a jockey. Me want your pussy for me cocky. No tell nobody that no necessary. But me want the cocky now, me belly. That I know me at all, me no walkie talkie. Me want your pussy for me cocky. Me better than the blues and pound the television. Me want the cocky now, me belly. Well, all right, the street vibes take a turn. Time to your ball like a scream and your squirm. I know me alone, I go wiggle like perm. Body up, it chip up, it pussy, I go burn. Bed said a cocky, you will long till it turn Make you run from Gaza, all the rest to burn Teach me your name, you fi teach me, we learn Cocky for me kiss till the quarter journey Well, all right, right Girl, you put on it tight, tight I up me foot, them I like I Wake me up with the big lamp pipe Anything you say, me cocky, don't light Teach her hold me with all of your might We up fucking at the middle of the night Boy, me a come, Lord Jesus Christ Baby, come make me ride you like a jockey Me want your pussy for me cocky No tell nobody that no necessary But me want the cocky now What up, Josh? That I know me yeah, that yeah. I'm in no walkie-talkie Me want your pussy for me cocky Me better than the blues and pound the television Me want the cocky now, me belly Well, I ride, ride Got the put on it tight, tight I <laughs> suck me for them, I like high Wake me up with the big lap Run for cover, man, in the house today, playing the reggae. Uh, 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 who's that? Uh, that was Cartel featuring Gaza Slim, like a jockey. The pussy so tight. <laughs> Papa Khan, baby, testify. Here we go with this shit. I ain't heard none of these. I just typed in. I typed in reggae on SoundCloud, and that's what I'm going with. Nice. Baby. Yeah, dude, that, yeah, that, yeah, Mac Lee's will destroy them. I don't give a me fuck what nobody says. Baby. Your tight little pussy drive me crazy. Yeah, Tom McDonald and sucks dick so anyways. He's fucking trash. Yeah, he's physically such a dick. Holy power, man, want to change me. So I try to see me yeah. what to face Hell me. Hell yeah. All when them get me number and text me, me tell him them straight, sir. You are my baby. Get it, Wolf. Promote the shit out of that concert. Right. Your girl's a juggalette. <laughs> I love that whole shit. So good. You too, Dead Vision. We'll see you later. You out for my fry. Why make your boom boom tights up? Me rest me two and them. Right by your nipple pine. Me no one that you like Love when you're right from by yeah. Hell yeah, we're saving Let me take off uh, your time Just like me here for a You make me feel Rich like the lottery 
Remember work your oat like the fuck. Got that one dislike right away, you know how it is. Of course. And now you alone with my happy my baby. My baby. Yeah, that know your boom boom tight. So me up to testify. You are my baby. My baby. Yeah, I love my banjo like me. Now go tell no lie. Honestly, me can't tell life on a good pum pum baby. A wet pussy feel good. Me tell fire links. All these songs boom, are about pussy. Line, you like <laughs> <touching boom. laughs> Girl, you got me coming on. Every night up in your zone. Me no know what make me love you so. But I don't give a fuck. I, I, oh my. I don't give a fuck. Right. Mama push it right inside. He fuck me and you push it right inside. This is something ah. I can't die. <laughs> you are my baby, my baby. Oh. Yeah, God know you're boom boom tight. So me have to testify. You are my baby, baby. Yeah. my baby. Yeah, I love my banjo like me now, but tell no lie. All right. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, uh, yeah, I think most of us, I think for most of people, all they know like reggae is like Bob Marty and shit. Uh, that's right. Well, I'm I like I'm avoiding all that because I don't want us to get get uh, you know, copyright. Yeah, vibes cartel again with fever. Here we go, king of the dance hall. Let's get it. XO, XO, my love is very special. If you want, I wonder how you tight the pussy is on this jam. <laughs> yeah, really. Me for granted. So uh, 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 so much, young juggalo. What's so up, Back shot, somehow you got extra, forget me not, when it's sweet you, what you say? Fever, buy your punani. Of course, another pussy song. My good love make your turn and crisp. Fever, buy your punani. See me be a bit, everything Chris My good love make you turn and Chris When you look back on you, I mean that Doggy style, puppy whisper My cocky so hot in the fire fever If you can't break it off, hasta la vista Then I feel like I'm a pussy in power Grab it, let go, quit, lower Godo, lover, godo, goba Tattoo, color, warm, so Baby, it said hopefully it's tight, right? Silly be, color pump, all of my yellow bad Silly dilly bad Shut the window, right? See me baby, everything Chris My good love make your turn and Chris Come post by your head, you're not dead Why doubt, like a sheet spread Little 12 left decks that mush up in head I go key my third world girl instead She sees you, wicked, so she did it Mama, parish, lefer, body, senor, cousin, coma, haddy When me, turn, she a fix it Daddy! It's reggae day, Penguin. My good love make your Switching it up. That's right, you got no rhythm, man. Pop, pop, pop. My good love make your turn and crisp. Box shot, some more. Box shot. Pussy tight all night. When it's sweet, you know what you're saying. Fever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fever. Bumble clock. 
It, it sounds like you're saying dick talk instead of tick talk. <laughs> right? All right, this is going to be an interesting one. This one's called Fuck by Adonia. <laughs> All right. You can't call me, baby. What's up, me, baby? When you want some fuck. <laughs> 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 you fuck me better. All right. Baby, you can't call me when you're on it. Cock it in a you put on it. Cute like a Barbie, me love your body. In a cute little panty, not dirty laundry. Hit me up in a day club, in a day VIP. And you won't fuck me, I go find your baby. Pretty like a rose, pretty like a daisy. Rich sex fucking at the mercy of the. Thanks, Wes Haven. Right. Most of the songs, I mean, I haven't found a single weed song yet. It's all been about fucking. <laughs> I'll play this for your parents or grandparents. You want some fuck? <laughs> you want some fuck? Yeah. And I'm gonna say that to my wife tonight when I get over work. You want some fuck? <laughs> hey babe, I'm home. You want some fuck? You gonna let me in the punani real quick? Yeah. This is the shit my mom listens to. I should have known by the title what this shit was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> gonna make this song my ring uh, Yeah, uh, I took a high, uh, high on my, uh, as my ring tone. Right, Monday mix down, throwing it down, reggae right. day. That was Adonia with fuck. <laughs> now we got reggae shark by my man Ray Mondrox One. I, if this is a parody of Baby Shark, dude, I'm gonna fucking lose <laughs> it, bro. <laughs> it's a picture of a shark all stoned yeah. with a fucking Rasta hat on, <laughs> and it says reggae shark, dude. I only can imagine that this shit, uh. that this shit is going to be, <laughs> it better not be. If it is, it's going to be hilarious. Let's see. Uh. Can I tell you the story of a reggae shark? There are hundreds of sharks living under the sea. A great white hey, at least it ain't about fucking. Reefs, yeah. One shark discovery well, well, yeah. always leave out. Right. <laughs> Like Rasta fish I'm talking about Reggae shark, reggae shark is real Reggae shark, him got a band with the seals oh, Reggae shark, he don't want to arm ya Reggae shark, he just want your gun job <laughs> Reggae shark, after dark Reggae shark come cruising Some say reggae shark part human Him was cursed by an evil 
evil jelly witch didn't have no reason she was just a bitch some kids were aborted and smoking a split reggae oh shirt swam God. over and asked for a hit the kids start screaming and one of them drowned now the sheriff and his posse gonna hunt him down reggae shark got no political agenda reggae shark he just wants redemption reggae shark and he also wants ganja <laughs> Like the spliff when you live under water. When they are ah! boat and the drop is good, Reggae Shark come along and him ate it whole. Yo, now we start right, like right. Marvin got the monkeys. Then he see the evil sheriff and all his flunkies. He put his fins in the air, said it wasn't me fault. But the sheriff said fire and the rifle shot. But it was just a shark decoy tied to a raft. Cause the Reggae Shark's a master of the arts and crafts. Reggae Shark, it jumped. The sheriff fell down his throat. Ah. The townspeople cheered and said, You brought us peace. You took a bite of corruption in the town police. They threw him a huge ticker tape parade. Cause they know that the balance is the food chain. They gave him the key to Kingston Town. You should see the tourism it brings in now. You've redeemed yourself, said the jelly witch. Me can reverse that curse and I grant your wish. Him looked at the witch and he said, Nay. Cause I'm a reggae shark and that's the way I'll stay. Reggae shark, reggae shark, reggae shark, reggae shark, reggae shark, reggae shark. The he a monster. Reggae shark versus sea monster. Oh, that yeah. shit was that shit was uh, crazy right there. I, 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 actually, that was a pretty good, a pretty good song. That was actually pretty good. I was hoping it wasn't no fucking parody of Baby Shark. Ah, uh. oh, that was good. That was a good one. Let's see if this one's good. Stephen Coconut. Reggae Indonesia is all it says. <laughs> one more time. Yeah, fuck it. Reggae Shark, one more time. Yeah, let's do that first. <laughs> Can I tell you the story of a reggae shark? There are hundreds of sharks. Live. There are hundreds of sharks. Live. There are, there are, there are, there are hundreds. There are hundreds. There are hundreds of sharks living on the pop, pop, sea. Pop. Great white armor aids and white tip reefs. There are hundreds of sharks live. There are hundreds of sharks live. There are hundreds of sharks living under the sea. A great white armor aids and white tip reefs. But the one shark discovery I always leave out is the dreadlock rasta fish I'm talking about. Reggae shark, reggae shark is real. Reggae shark, him got a band with the seals. Reggae shark, reggae shark, reggae shark, reggae reggae shark, reggae shark, Watch uh, all of a sudden reggae shark just starts trending on SoundCloud like <laughs> Screaming uh. <laughs> and one of them drown. Now the sheriff and his posse gonna hunt him down. Reggae shark got no political agenda. Reggae shark, he just wants redemption. Reggae shark, and he also wants ganja. But you can't like the spliff when you live under water. When they are drunk, the boat yeah. and the drop beats load. Reggae shark come along and him ate it whole. Now we starving like Marvin got the munchies. Then him see the evil sheriff and all his flunkies. He put his fins in the air, said it wasn't me fault. But the sheriff said fire and a rifle shot. But it was just a shark decoy tied to a raft. Cause the reggae shark's a master of the arts and crafts. Reggae shark, he jumped on the boat. And the sheriff fell down his throat. Ah! The townspeople <laughs> cheered and said, you brought us peace. You took a bite of corruption in the town police. They threw him a huge ticker tape parade. Cause they know that the balance is the food chain. They gave him the key to Kingston Town. You should see the tourism it brings in now. You hey, redeem Pingo, yourself, you said the jelly you no witch. Me can reverse that curse and I oh, grant your go. wish. Him looked at the witch and he said nay. Cause I'm a reggae shark and that's the way I'll stay. Reggae shark, reggae shark, reggae shark. There is? Oh, shit. It's called Reggae Shark Returns. All right, well, let's see if we can find that. Reggae Shark. 
Yeah, that, that was a good, 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 good ass sauna. It's fucking ridiculous. I know. Oh, uh, almost like some, almost like some Rick Root I would do or something. Right. Reggae Shark Part Two. Oh, found it. Nice. <laughs> Come on everybody gather around I'm gonna tell you all an epic story now Of the Reggae Sharknado Reggae Sharknado? Yes, the Reggae Sharknado Ooh, that's a fun combo I bet you didn't know that sharks could fly Bet you didn't know they swam that high It's the Reggae Sharknado This ain't, this is stupid Yes, the Reggae Sharknado What part don't you understand? This is a guy singing over it Off to speak on conservation of the yeah, sharks and yeah, manatees. Uh, yeah, the, the, this one sucks. Uh, that one sucks. Yeah, that, that one sucks. That's some guy singing over it. Uh. Is this a remix of Reggae Shark? Yep, it is. It's a remix of it with no words. SoundCloud request for sure, but not Spotify. I don't have Spotify on the program. Yeah, so yeah, so that's a good stuff. Yeah. I'm saying it's good as the other one. When you leave on the walk down When they a drop boat and the drop is load Reggae shark come along and him ate it whole Now he's swerving like Marvin got the munchie Then him see the evil sheriff and all his flunky He put his fins in the air Said it was a meat mouse But the sheriff set fire and the rifle shot But it was just a shark decoy Tied to a raft Cause the reggae shark's a master of the arts and crafts Reggae shark He jumped on the boat And the sheriff fell down his throat The town's people cheered and said you brought us in the town police they threw him a huge ticker tape parade but they know that the balance is tough this ain't very reggae but shit i was bumping it all morning my dude nice it's fucking tommy james that water holy shit you heard this shit yet Josh? Uh, uh not yet jesus christ bro <laughs> you're gonna love this shit yo tommy i also was gonna email you earlier man like I need a I need to get a copy of fucking alligator teeth so I can play that shit, bro. Alligator teeth is hard. Holy fuck. Man, check it out. You suck in the worst way. And alligator teeth is that joint, bro. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. This shit right here too, though. This is fire. I got a special euthanasia. I got from Asia, put the needle to your neck and inject my flavor. Nobody can save ya. Girl, I want your labia. I am like Tasmanian devil. I put the blade in ya. I am like an angel. Death Professor Mangala. I'm gonna be that one motherfucker that's gonna strangle ya. I'm heinous like Los Angeles. Kings inhaling angel dust. Change it up and these veins will rush. You fuck with us, your brains will bust a hip hop. Spitting the venom with viciousness I replenish and diminish The nemesis flight like Pegasus Play them like Sega Genesis Sickness in all my sentences Spreading women's legs wide And I eat them like an ex Benedict I be that one skinny ginger Crash landed in the desert And I wasn't even injured I'm on a binger Take a dab at a green pincher Like a crab with mean pinchers 
I'm a grab on your spleen extra If I smash your head like a great melon I'm damn dirty like an ape smelling I'm cold as ice, I stay chilling like a poltergeist Better pray, pilgrim I got this awesome Anastasia Straight from Malaysia But most of the world sleeping already no longer need ya Illin' blood, spillin' wig, pillin' not fillin' ya Illin' blood, spillin' wig, pillin' not fillin' ya For sure, yeah, now my flow's wicked I didn't go number zone, I'm so gettin' Who's midget to go get it? I'm a bro and gettin' the global lift When my name gets right up, y'all duck down this redhead motherfucker crazy Better bring that water, water I'm gonna bring that slaughter, slaughter Just like a father, father Give it on up to the father figure This is just getting a father I'm gonna make it harder, baby that water, water. Want some, bring some, and get wasted. It's slaughter, slaughter. Machine guns, I go eat. That water, water. Want some, bring some, and get wasted. I'm gonna make it harder, baby. Playing air guitar with the legs and arms, and I'm murder victims. I prefer to stake them up in the heart. I'm a hair bizarre, 'cause I'm careless thoughts, and I'm prepared to kick them. I'm an urban legend, get sure I'm addicted. A certain liquid that'll burn your hair and deworm your senses. I work the symptoms, but zerk it with. Wanna mark the bitches when I hurt again? Sir, for condition, I'm dry. Cleaning the carpet, seeing the sharp shit, bloody by the parts I feed in the hardest. Artists eating the larva, I'm leaning the farthest I'm reading codeine, feeling marvelous Woke up with a heart, think it's hard to piss Anybody wanna get carnivorous? Then you got a taste for the white meat, rapper don't like me So I'm spiky and iced tea with the rice and the spider G Cut the oxygen off like it's a crime to breathe I'm rapping like it's crime to breathe What happened to personal privacy? I think this beat just reminded me Getting low with a cold extremity I am just a genius, this creaming chicks with my penis uh, I'm finna uh. get the Angela Spina treatment, I mean it The way I eat Vagine, I am not polemical Vegan, please, I'll be no vegetarian Please don't the earth to the barrier My bro, hearts and add my crust But I pull guard, I get my fuck It provokes art when the time's up Then a whole bar them all and slice them up I'm high as fuck and my mind's a trip Replace vitamins with Vicodin And Percocet, just a nervous wreck Just jerk your neck, girl, you're working it Illin' blood, spilling wig, pillin' Not filling ya Illin' blood, spilling wig, pillin' Not filling ya Fools wicked, I'll show getting Not a glow, never sold, I'll show getting it Hoes, midgets, and ghosts, get it I'm a pro and getting the globe God damn it. Fucking love this dude, man. God damn it. I am not kidding, bro. This shit is fucking lame. Lame. Jesus Christ, that shit is great. That shit is. I don't give a fuck, dude. You can't. You can't. Yeah, I, I don't understand. I just don't get that shit. Is fucking flame. I did. Like, like whatever, dude. Like, shut the fuck up. All them fucking haters, dude. Whatever, dude. This shit's fire. <laughs> fucking fire, dude. You can't even. I crack the legs open and I eat it like eggs Benedict, dude. What the fuck ever? Who would sh that shit's genius it and is. hilarious? Like, oh, it is. <laughs> oh, it totally Fire. Is. That totally is. <sighs> fuck yeah, it is. All right, back to the reggae vibe. But for real, Tommy, yeah, man, send me a copy of fucking Alligator Teeth, dude. That shit is fire. Alligator Teeth is, man, wait till you hear that shit, bro. <laughs> uh, I bet, I, I bet be great. Oh, I was dying, dude. Like I was hoping it was on SoundCloud so I could play it, but it's not. Cause I don't think I have it. I got that fucking. It's off a of spirit resin, and he sent me most of it, but he, he didn't send me the rest. That water, water. Uh, he said he got you. Hell yeah, dude. Alligator teeth is fire. Jesus Christ. He fucking does like four different styles on that shit. Like he fucking chops. He starts off fucking rapping regular. And then he fucking. Then he fucking. Yeah, it's on spirit resin. Yeah. He starts off with. I mean, he just does like three or four different fucking styles, dude. It's fire. I heard it today, and I was like, Jesus Christ, how did I never hear this shit before? Yeah, I don't have it right now. I got that water, though, for sure. That water, water. This shit's fire. I was listening to that shit all day. 
I was doing dishes and then fucking I got on the got on the stationary bike. And I was like, oh, time to do a little workout. I started playing that. I listened to that like three times while I was on the bike. Getting it. Ain't No Sunshine by 181 Reggae. 1814 Reggae covers album. Oh, shit. Ain't No Sunshine. <laughs> Sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And she's always gone. So play that Jamaican Thundercat intro. Let's see if I can find it. Wind up this town when she's gone. That bass player is good as well. All right. Yeah, I know, 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 Hey, you ought to leave your things alone. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Yeah. Uh, it's not on SoundCloud. Yeah, that bass player is fire. Oh, yeah. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. This girl I used to work with is a huge, slightly stupid fan. She fucks with them heavy. She like knows the singer and shit. She's like good friends with them. Oh shit. Saxophone solo in this nice. joint. Nice. No this is a pretty good ass cover right here. It's Ain't not no bad. And it's pretty good. I've been listening to nothing but reggae at work. <laughs> Hilarious. What's up, shot? No it's reggae day. You got a reggae song, bro? I know, I know, if you got a reggae I know, joint, I know, I know, I know, send it and I'll play it. That bass player is fire. I know, 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 I know. I know. All right, here we go. Okay, Charlie Black with Bike Back. Oh, my God, here we go. Let's see what this shit is. Let's see what this is. Let's see what Bike Back is. I bet it has something to do with fucking... Ladies, place your hands on your knees. Now, swing clean your back. Take a time and look for the man where you're a wiper. You ready? Come, come. Fuck up your big 
bumper upon the bike back. Bumper ready for the RR bike back. See the junk of it, you can't ride that. You like that. The bike back. You know your shot up shot. Uh, uh, so, so cash money. money. So cash money. Woo woo. You like that. You like that. Girl, you're sexy, you're sexy, sexy. Shape like you have chicken pin. Drink a apple fat cup on my bill. You bump up for a hot I've been bumping shopper ranks at work. Hell yeah. Your big bump up on the bike back. Bump already for the RR bike back. See the junk of it, you can't ride that. You like that. The bike back. You know your shot up shots, bunny bike back. Tell a fight over my gun, I'll fight back. Put your own roll, me with your bunny bike back. You like that. When your boy gone, throw down the Thursday throw down reggae and DC. <laughs> <laughs> right, baby. From Catadopa to Flower Hill, you bump up your heart, girl. Put all your ears, come wine for the wheels. We're ready for defend you like me every seal. Came unstoppable, no make fair deals. And up to them, you pay your deal. You don't pay for your bump up, baby, it's real. You're damn good food, you don't have me a deal. No, no, you know, I do that, me reveal. Some kind of like tough, 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 like a seal. Wine for me, wine for me, wine for me, girl. Climb for me, climb for me, climb for me, girl. Wine up your body in and you buy a show like you are entertaining party criminal. Shape for me, shape for me, shape for me, girl. I break, I break, break for me, girl. When the country boy can't ever go on the road, road the boat, road the boat, road the boat, dirty pot, dirty pot, feed the cat, feed the cat. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, did you hear that, Josh? Yeah. <laughs> Switch up. Roll the ball. Roll the ball. Stir the pot. Stir the pot. <laughs> I like that. That was fire. That was fire. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> Summertime cook out your boy uh-huh. gonna throw the burger on the grill, yeah. Yeah. We'll play some alkaline block. Alkaline block and delete. Dance hall hot spot. Uh-huh. Auto tune. Uh-huh. I hope it's about fucking. Ooh, I haven't played enough songs about fucking today. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I instant block and delete Tell her go try them thing there with some other man No girl can style the G Man I pressure nobody that time It's alright, it's okay, you can live if you want to live Nigga girl baby never ask fast It's alright, it's okay, waste my time but that time live I am you want to be going all alone Suppose me tell her me see sitting just like your own You would have high the you were inside my phone then the thing on and on drum Full of gal can't done But me nah push on on Nah run nobody down Me rather run you I'm a nah slow down More gal still have come If me want me take the piss And turn it in a clue Gal I know you have to go on and on So just me gal and me see Oh yeah 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 now we got the real reggae feel man. I hope it's about fucking. Fuck. <laughs> 
About Dustin, this is fucking reggae, bro. This is fire. It is. Ooh, it's reggae day today, Dustin. We don't gotta play hip hop every single time. Do what? No, you said. It's a reggae. Like this next one, busy single, busy signal. We're like, we got some echo bad going on. I don't understand why. It's on your end. Every time I talk, I hear me. How the fuck? Boop, 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 boop. That's, right, That's right, Juggalo John. John. I, I, I stopped playing hip hop because, because it promotes, promotes violence. violence. And chinchilla oh, heads. Sick word. Chinchilla heads. There we go. There. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah, I knew it was him because now he's muted. Look. It's gone. Yeah. Oh. Busy signal uh, by, uh, let me see. Let me tell you about streets anywhere we go. Stay so. Dog them serious. Dog them no nervous. Boy, let me tell you about. Man, we cool like an Eskimo. Cool like an Eskimo. No boy can go round we. I know so the things hit me G. One phone call it take to make some boy wipe up a heart and drop down flat. From your non stop my food dog, me no matter about you and me no care about that. Can't talk in my face Say them run place I run them run round that Man a action pack Some boy only full of tough chatter Enough of them stairs so oh. Enough of them stairs so oh. Enough of them stairs so oh. Talk them a talk No action feedback Enough of them stairs so oh. Enough of them stairs so oh. Enough of them stairs so oh. nah, I ain't going right chat, I ain't chat, going up here, that Yeah I got a mic stand enough. coming man I just gotta get Empty it Empty barrel I make nice dog Them are no nobody Them are no nobody yeah. Can't step to the president All of me dogs Them are be a mad smaddy yeah. Have a one piece of metal And a post dog You know bad man from nowhere yeah. You must see all of your life Cause it not work If you step to uh, me Enough of them cool. stairs so Enough of them stairs so <laughs> Right Enough of them stairs so Talk them a talk, no action feedback. I know for them stairs so. up. Yeah, right. I know yeah, man. I just, so. I just don't want to go. I know for them stairs so. up. Chat them a chat. If I didn't have a drug test in three hours, I'd be sparking too. One phone call it. I got drug tests. Some boy wipe up a heart and drop down flat. That sucks. Come here now, stop my food dog. Me no matter about you and me no care about. Hell yeah. Can't talk in my face. Say them one place, I run them yeah. run around. That's better, buddy. Man, action back some boy only full of tough chatter. No for them stairs. I know for them stairs. I know for them stairs. Talk them a talk, no action feedback. I know for them stairs. Oh hell yeah, I got you. I know for them stairs. Yeah, Astro, I might, I might be that. No mind here, that. What's up, Dom? What's up, Dom? Dom Cash. Jungle no fear them. You know my man War is sparking up to this. Yeah, man. Of course he is. Uh, uh, I wish I was. 
Yeah, I'm on. Slightly so, stupid is on Spotify. Long, long time them stay so. Long time no for them stay. No for them stay so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes, they are. Nice. I'm gonna get into one of my favorite songs by them. Officer. Officer by Slightly Stupid. Here we go. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, down chaos. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I know about Marley, then I'll get copyright. Yeah. It all started late on a Saturday night. Said, who's got this bass and who's got the bind? Look out the window, said to my surprise. They can see man in blue when he's flashing lights. He said, now, you know your body's fucking over with because you're smoking joints and you're rolling splits. And tell me what you think I ought to think of this. So want you pull We got to play that water again for a lot of times. Mr. Officer, come charge me. Expendables, yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, hell yeah. But I want you to block, but I'm so sorry, Mr. Cop. I bet you when they make gonna get. I bet I can get slightly stupid on the show, actually. Sorry, Mr. Cop. I bet you when they make gonna get a stop. I want you to hit Mr. Cop. I said, no, why you stop for me? No, no. I wasn't driving me car badly. I said, don't go lock me up because it's more sensey. Yes, it's easy, easy, get to but me live What's up, Brooklyn? Sin, I'm Mr. Officer, come charge me all the time You got me for possession, but I swear that it's not mine No matter what you do or say, it's bound to come I'm going to look into getting slightly stupid on this bitch If you want a moment's peace, this is what you say Well, my Fitbit shipped out, but my microphone flag has not yet. I'm waiting. What's up, Michael B? What's up, Michael B? Out here working. Hell yeah. Little <laughs> lame ass Jimmy's Chicken Check. Their first album was good. I like their first album. Slightly stupid is fucking good as fuck. I like the way they use live instruments. They're all white dudes that get it cracking with the reggae. Uh, oh, 311's fucking flame, dude. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Runs reggae and reefer jams live. Pilfers, look them up. Will do. Yo, we're lockside. Have you heard? Was you on earlier when I played that water? And he's needed out. Oh shit! He must be busy. So I guess we'll look up. Pilfers broke up. Wow, that sucks. That I always hate when a band fucking breaks up. Uh, man. Uh. Yo, having the SoundCloud shit is just so fucking. So much better. I bet. Because now it's like. 
Cause like all the time artists be sending me fucking uh you know they always try to sell me SoundCloud links and shit and I'm like what? I put in Pilfer and a bunch of crazy shit popped up. Tonight. It's a fucking podcast. <laughs> All that popped up here was a podcast. You're alive for a reason, and I am here to help you. You're alive for a reason. I am here to help you. What the fuck was that shit? Um, Pam Borderlands. <laughs> actually, like, uh, actually, Borderlands too. I was like, what the fuck? You're alive for a reason. That water, Warlock side. Here we go. I played it earlier. We do it. You got to fucking hear this song, dude. It is fucking fire, dude. Fire. 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 Put the needle to your neck and inject my flavor Nobody can save ya, girl I want your labia I am like Tasmanian devil, I put the blade in ya I am like an angela, death professor Mangala I'm gonna be that one motherfucker that's gonna strangle ya I'm heinous like Los Angeles, kings inhaling angel dust Change it up and these veins will rush you fuck with us Your brains will bust our hip hop villains Spitting the venom with viciousness I replenish and diminish the nemesis Like an ex Benedict, I'd be that one skinny ginger. Crash landed in the desert, and I wasn't even injured. I'm on a binger, take a dab at a green pincher, like a crab with mean pinchers of a grab on your spleen. Extra, I smash your head like a great melon. I'm damn dirty, like an ape smelling. I'm cold as ice, I stay chilling like a poltergeist, but a prey pilgrim. I got this awesome Anastasia straight from Malaysia, but most of the world sleeping already no longer need ya. Killing blood, killing wind. Pillin' not filling ya, illin' blood, spillin' wig, pillin' not filling ya. The show hit, now my flow's wicked, better blow in the zone, I'm so gifted. Who's midget to ghost, get it, I'm a bro, we hit the globe lifted. Who's midget to ghost, get it, I'm a bro, we hit the globe lifted. Who's midget to ghost, get it, I'm a bro, we hit the globe lifted. Oh, my name gets right up, y'all got down this red head, motherfucker crazy. Better bring that water, water, I'm gonna bring that slaughter, slaughter. Just like a father, father, give it on up to the father figure. This is just getting a father.
Oh, God, I love it. God damn it. That shit is... Oh, God damn it. Woo! I don't care. <laughs> Reggae Shark. <laughs> Reggae Shark was fire, too. Oh. Well, time for me to dip for work. Looks like war is on the shit. You still here, war? Hello? 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 All right. You want to keep it going or you want me to stop it? Yeah, I'll keep it going. I'm we'll almost keep done it going. going. We'll keep it going. We'll keep it going. That fucking water. Fire water. The water. That water. This song is flame, dude. Jesus Christ. Uh -uh. I'll be back when I get in the car then. Uh, Whoop! Whoop! And then I want to address fucking yesterday's show, of course, because I called it. I fucking called it, dude. I fucking Hell yeah. called it. I, I called it. Definitely fucking called it. Dude, we met what we fucking said all through the show. I don't give a fuck. We yeah. don't look like no bitch because we were, we were fucking acting like true adults and actually hashing out what our issues was. Yeah, apparently if you can't have a conversation like an adult and subtle shit, and if you got to be kids about it, then then apparently you're just fucking sucking dick. Mm, of course, and I fucking called it, bro. And as soon as and Hack Benjamin like comes in the comments like, "Oh yeah, I knew it. Look, you guys are fucking sucking CPS dick, but it in your mouth." <laughs> said, I love watching Hack Benjamin show. Oh wait. Oh, wait. He All right. Have, he doesn't have a fucking show. Oh, that's right. There's only one hack, Benjamin, and that motherfucker. <laughs> we ain't seen him in a while. He was actually in the chat yesterday. I seen him in the chat. Oh, I'm and talking then, about the real hack, Benjamin, not that little punk ass kid. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. <laughs> hack, Benjamin. <laughs> okay. So. Damn, that was great. So what up, y'all? Yeah, not much. You missed it yesterday, Total Chaos? Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> it went well. Yeah. It went well. Yeah, yes, it did. Yeah, yeah. You Tales from Lotus Podcast. We are live, motherfuckers. Still, still live, still kicking. Right. We're still here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're not going any anywhere, also. Yeah, Mr. Right. Well, that's exactly what we were thinking, but, uh, once we found out that it was being said on our, that somebody said that it was said on our show, then we kind of had to be like, yo, look, now we can say something about it. Cause I didn't even know somebody was saying it happened on our show. So now that that's cleared up, hell no, it didn't happen on our show. <laughs> that's, that's like the, I don't know why anybody would even you try to use us like that as a, we're not going to lie for anybody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if it happened here, we tell you, motherfuckers, it happened here. If it didn't happen here, we're going to tell you straight up. It didn't fucking happen uh, here. It didn't happen at all. I don't think it ever happened, but you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. <laughs> Unless we come with some undeniable evidence, uh, I don't believe shit. Uh, yeah, I will be calm. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, I set fell. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Oh, man. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Hell yeah. What's happening, Tommy James? I uh, thought uh, uh, Tommy. Captain Flannel. Oh, shit. It's good to see you guys this morning. This afternoon, whatever. Whatever it may be. 
It's afternoon. Uh, yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's afternoon. <coughs> oh, damn. <coughs> um, Holy fuck. Uh -huh. I hear your pussy's talking. Oh, who? You. Uh, I, I, I was watching, uh, is a wolf pup howling for the first time. <coughs> <coughs> wolf pup? <coughs> yep, yep. I went for the first time, huh? Yep. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm, uh, I'm on um, um, on Facebook. Oh shit! Yeah, tails is number one. Hell yeah! Of course. Oh shit, man. Going to Astro 3. I'll actually pay to go in this time. Yeah, I'm going to go to Astro 3. And I'm actually going to pay to go in this time. And I'm going to go on probably every day. Probably going to go all three days. Might as well. Ugh. I made, I made a, a straight promise to somebody that nothing would happen at their show. So I couldn't let that fucking happen. I know it was gonna happen if I would have went inside, or, or had I had seen Chuck there. I don't know if I did or not, which I can't really one hundred percent say. I What's did that? Talking about Astro. Oh. Oh, Ryan asked if I'm gonna go to three. So I'm planning on it. I'm gonna be there every day that next this year. So Astro would be dope. Or next uh. year, whatever it is. Yeah, man. I just wanna I wanna meet some of the uh but I'm not gonna pay no fucking money to get no pictures with nobody. And I ain't gonna schedule no shit early to meet you have no pictures with nobody. Fuck that. I know. <laughs> if y'all's too good to take a picture now, then I don't even want my picture with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I shouldn't have to call and fucking Oh yeah, I wanna my kids call hold up. All right. We went in pretty harsh at the beginning of yesterday's show too, for real. Uh I, I bet. Do you watch it yet, Josh? Uh not 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 yet. Oh, you should go back and watch it, dude, where Lockside goes in. I uh, bet he does. We both went in. Uh. Yeah, I'm just sorry I missed it. Uh, you know, uh, uh, what's up, Brooklyn? What up, though? <laughs> oh my gosh, my kid calls me. Working. We're not fighting anyone today, right? No, You're good. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's check. My kid calls me freaking out, Dad, Dad, the ice cream sh shop at the corner has my name on it, so that means I get a free ice cream today. Like, uh, every fucking day they change the name on the on the side and if it's your name you get a free ice cream cone oh nice yeah so it's like the first time it's ever been her name should I do stop and get a monster or stop and get Fago because I'm Fago. in an area where, where they uh, got like a lot of flavors well you might as well stop and get Fago then. yeah might as well maybe I'll get both I'll get the monster for now and I'll a couple of fagos. Yeah. I like cotton candy the best. Yeah, I can only have so much of this shit before it hurts my stomach, man. It's like, so you probably drink the little 24 ounce bottles, though, right? Yeah, I see you on camera all the time. You got like the 64 fluid ounce, <laughs> two liters. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah no. 
I remember when I remember when Run used to do that before he quit drinking. So. Uh. Oh yeah. Is he gone? Did he I can't see anything. I'm just on my headset. Did he stop playing music? Yeah. Yeah, he, of course. Yeah, yeah, he had to go to walk. <coughs> yeah, I'm out here working. I just left uh, Reading, Pennsylvania, driving uh, oh, shit. To, to another place. Oh, shit. Making that money today, yo. Still getting phone calls from your uh, students? <laughs> yeah, I was about to jump on and my phone rang. I was about to jump on again. My phone rang again. Jesus. Well, come on, y'all. Is it that hard to figure out, Shay? <laughs> it probably is, really. You probably got a lot of shit you gotta touch up on so people can remember. Uh, they paid me 500 for teaching the class, so I guess that's probably because they knew I was gonna get bombarded with calls. Holy shit. For just one day class? Yeah, I, I, I spoke for about six hours, but I was basically, you know, we were just hanging. I know everybody, so it's good to see everyone and just hanging out. Like, they gave me, like, a PowerPoint, mm. and I was like, nah. I was, like, immediately looking at it, like, right there. And I was like, this is boring. I was <laughs> like, we don't need this. Let's just let's just do this. So, you know, powered up the stuff and teaching everybody all the technical shit. Hell Yeah. PowerPoints are useless, man. If you ask me, they're all right for boring. certain things. Yeah, it's boring. It is. And when you're the one up there in front of everybody doing it, and it's like I'm bored. Plus, I know, you know, it's like we just we just want to touch the stuff and like mess around with the new products. We don't want to see how great it says they are. Let's fuck around with it. Turn power the shit up. Let's go. Yeah, so that's yeah. the best way to learn. So I did it first. And I just told everybody, like, if people started getting out of hand, I just had to get control, like, tell everyone to just shut the fuck up. Because because if you're going to be calling me a hundred times, if you're not listening right now, I'm going to hang up on you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I had to say it nicer because some of the big bosses were there, but. <laughs> I'm feeling you. Feel you. That song is fire as fuck. I don't give a fuck. What song? Like when he's when he sends you guys a copy of this CD, you're gonna just keep fucking bumping it. Like you won't stop. Oh shit! I forgot to send him my address. That's what I forgot. <laughs> yeah, it's fire, dude. Hey, what's up, bro? This it's that spirit resin, dude. I, I haven't had a chance to check it because I just can't get past this album. Like I just can't do it. Every song is fire. I can't wait for him to email me alligator teeth so I can play that next show. I mean, uh, that'd be really cool. Oh, alligator teeth is flame, bro. He like does so many different styles in it. It's retarded how he does it. He says he's retarded in it too. What's up, Brooklyn? What's up, man? Did you get a chance to hear Reggae Shark earlier? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> With my uh, I think what's here. Yeah, say so. <laughs> they got a decent selection here. I like, uh, you know, it doesn't look like they got any. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. <coughs> oh shit. <coughs> Y'all see the Damn, so I brought the video? exercise there bike in the house. Yeah. Took it from the garage. Yo, what Man, should that I thing, get here? That thing fucking that thing's a work, bro. That thing's a workout. Yeah. It's got the got the thing that moves your arms back and forth oh, and shit. Yeah. yeah. Unless they're oh, hidden yeah. behind this, unless they're hidden behind this moon mist, I don't see any cotton candy. Two for oh, two twenty okay. ounces? That's a ripoff. A ripoff? Yeah, you can get a whole two liter for fucking a dollar at Dollar Tree. Three liter. Uh, normally at stores like that, you can get a two liter for like a dollar twenty nine plus deposit this here. Is, this is like my and then favorite. I'm gonna get them this. ones are a dollar nine or ninety nine yeah. cents. But you go, you get a whole two liter over here for a dollar. 
Yeah, like Hardy, you can do that here too if you go to the right store. Yeah, this you grocery spot here has have all the flavors. That, nice. Have you had that new Dr. Pepper that's like berry flavored? No. Good, berry flavored Dr. Pepper? Ew. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I heard about it, but I haven't tried it yet. Doc, all these other fucking soda companies trying to different flavors shit is just trying to play off Fago's nuts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wild. Actually, there's another company that has flavored soda. I forgot what the fuck it was called. It comes in glass bottles still. Uh, jo- Jones? Um, Yeah, they're a newer one. No, are they newer? They might be older. They might yeah. be older. Yeah, yeah, the, the older, older, they always have like, like um, different, different flavors of like, um, soda and stuff. Yeah. Jones. Hey, let me ask you guys a question before I, before I get to work. Yeah. yeah. Fucking so if we if that shit would have been between somebody else and we would have squashed it, you think we'd have still got the hate or no? Nope. Nah? Nope. Still said we riled their dick. No, uh, could we, have. We, I don't know, man. Depends on who it was, I guess. I don't think we've got a much much hate it was somebody else. I What's, thought it was pretty dope that he got on there and he was like I'm not gonna yell and scream at you guys. Yeah. <laughs> like I was expecting it. He's like, uh, I was expecting you guys just it, don't have that. You guys ain't some kind of people. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting it, man. I was like, man, I'm at work. I I can't be all screaming and shit. Uh, dude, I don't think it pissed me off as bad with him thinking that we turned our back as it did with everybody else that claims to be fucking down that was talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that's, that what, yeah that's what me pissed off me off was the whole panel was like. Yeah, fuck them and shit. Like that's what got me too. All them motherfuckers. I don't expect them to be family and have my fucking back. You know what I'm saying? But CPN, I, I got his back, and I don't. It just it hurt more to think that he thinks that we want to have his back. But it pissed me off that these other motherfuckers are running the cocksuckers. It was well. It's like Brooklyn made that great ass point yesterday that fucking so many guests have been like, "You guys fuck with CPN? No, we ain't coming on." Yeah. They've said it to us blatantly. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. So. I mean, <laughs> but we always say oh, he's our boy still. But also, hey, we just moved forward. We just also people be like, just like you said earlier, people are like, you guys have CPN on your show so fucking much. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? So it's just like, it's just one of them things where you ain't winning no matter what. Right. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> We're just going to keep doing us regardless. Like, that's of what course. we've been doing. So. Of <laughs> but I got even a different opinion than the rest of you because I don't think that he's the reason why this channel's big. That's just my personal opinion. But I, I like I'm the type of guy that's no, like if I'm gonna no, make if I'm gonna make a channel like my own stuff or do anything, I don't want it to get big so somebody else can say, Well, the only reason the channel is even where it is right now is because of me. I wanna <laughs> I want that to happen because of what I did, not because of somebody right. else. So Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he didn't. He, we ain't big just because of CPN. We did do a lot of fucking hustling. Well, no, dude. Yeah. Like, but he did help us out quite a yeah. bit. You know what I'm saying? He, well, never, yeah. When we never said he didn't. I'm just right, saying. Right, right. right. It, just like Brooklyn said, that's not the. He's not <coughs> the reason our channel blew up. <coughs> he gave us a boost for sure. But I'm sure. He, I'm sure he got a little. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, he has all. He has a lot of subscribers, but I'm yeah, sure he yeah. also got a, a bit of a boost. <laughs> there was some. There's some people that I know that watched his show religiously that I remember don't like him, don't fuck with him at all. But I know. they might have cozied up to him a bit, seeing a different side of him on this show. So he got subs off of this too. Yeah. Everybody benefited. Oh yeah. oh yeah. And besides that, we Chuck gave us a boost too. You know he what I'm did. saying? Oh, yeah. How, yeah. Long, how long do I have to keep going with this topic before we're fighting again? <laughs> 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 oh no, man! I think. Oh yeah, Chuck helped us. Yeah, I didn't tell you guys personally. I, as much as we want I don't to. have. I don't like. I don't have any issues with him. This shit doesn't offend me, you know. But I just. I just don't want everything to be all about one person. <laughs> oh, every of course. <laughs> Of course. Oh, that's right. It happened. We got big because of Triple Penguin. <laughs> it was so weird. It's like when I heard him explain, because I'm like, this is so stupid. But then when I heard him explain it in the way he put it, because he knows how to put things good, 
uh, then I started to be like, oh yeah, maybe maybe we should have covered it because I didn't see it that way. I didn't see it. I didn't way. either. I just thought it was stupid, you know. Right. Yeah. And then when he explained it, I was like, okay, if I look at it that way, maybe right. I, I could see some of the like what you mean. Well, you yeah. know. Classified me as a sea monster. I'm and I sea monsters. My monster, a sea monster. She wants to I got to feed. I'm telling you guys, man. Tommy James is becoming one of my favorite fucking rappers. I don't give a fuck. It's true. Like every song I play is like, oh, that's fire. No, that's just fire. But I don't even hey, want Tom, you guys. That. I don't. I don't even want you guys fighting with like Violent George and his show because, I mean, they're cool dudes. Sometimes you just gotta listen to everything they're trolling a little bit, you know. And their right. their show is more on that level. Like the whole show is all about that. They're pretty hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, they got Troll Supreme on yeah. that show. Most of the shit on that the channel. Whole panel's trolls. I know they got like some sort of issue with Wolf, and you see Wolf sitting on a dildo, and and I heard Warlock said, you know. No, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. Why do you talk shit about people that could fucking destroy? That don't, you? I don't understand why they got the beef with Wolf. When Wolf apologized, we need a- something to talk about, man. Got to keep relevant. Got to keep the shit going so we can uh, keep relevant. You know what I mean? Because if not, then what do they got? Because if you ain't got beef, <laughs> so we can keep got. relevant. Right? Like, oh, we got to keep this beef going, with Wolf, so we can stay relevant. He apologized and he admitted he was wrong, but we still got to keep it going. Because right, he admitted you know. he was wrong on our show yesterday, but. Yeah. Apparently, Just like we admitted that we were kind of wrong. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, I don't think bad. we were wrong, but not really. We I mean, it wasn't nothing about being wrong. It was just about that. We didn't know that it was being said that it was said on our show. And yeah. if we'd have known yeah. that, we'd have been If like, I'd have oh, known that, that, it'd have been a whole different ball game. But yeah. like I, I said, know. like Brooklyn said, I don't pay attention to all that. Neither. All that other shit. Right. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't. I don't even watch that shit. So like. <laughs> I don't know. I don't pay attention to her. I don't fucking. The only video I ever seen of that bitch was the one that CPN showed. Oh, I got this tattoo and I got this tattoo and that's it. That was like the only video I've ever seen of that bitch and the ones that he was playing on the show the other couple weeks ago or whatever. I'm so much more down because I got this tattoo. or I'm so much more down because I got this tattoo. That doesn't make you down at all. Like, right. That doesn't. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Fairness, you can't be like I apologize, but fuck you. Doesn't seem very sincere. Hell yeah. Uh, I think what boosted this channel too is where CPM was involved was because of that. what was going on on the show, like that whole Yaya shit. Yeah. Shit went nuts. Like there was so many people. I think uh, there was like over a hundred people watching. Yeah. Yeah. We, we got to get that shit time. edited. We split, we, I don't know. We split it up. Split it on the channels, but at the hot. Watch it. Here we go. I am going to make that video available to Patreons. Oh, yeah. Fucking probably These fucking here dude, a little bit. I, I literally, in, in the past 20 seconds, got four phone calls. I'm just hanging up. No. Yeah. No, people- that's the thing. It's just like when when I go to when I go and I learn, I gotta learn what like the people that don't even give you, they act like you're supposed to know already. <coughs> I just go out into the field and teach myself with patience. Nobody helps me. Right. right. They freak yeah. out, bro. If it ain't working right, they're gonna freak the fuck out. Like, I was teaching this guy yesterday. He came to, came to work with me because they're giving me like. Fifty dollars every for every job that he's at. Yeah. Hell yeah! Real quick like, before hey. I go into work, I gotta tell you guys this fucking story about AT and T again. Holy shit, man! These guys are fucking ridiculous. Oh. So, my wife calls me, and she goes, uh, "Babe, our internet bill is only twenty seven dollars. I don't know what the deal is." 
She's like, I don't understand why it's so cheap. So I fucking called them. And apparently when they have a new promotion, they, you don't have to call to get it. They just give it to you. <laughs> what? So now the same plan that we have, the internet 1000 fiber optic shit is only 40 bucks a month for the next 12 months. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Shout the fuck out to AT and T, bro. No fucking What's way. Next, I swear one day, to God. One bro. day, some smoking hot girl is gonna ring your doorbell and say, "Hi, I'm here to give you your monthly blowjob, courtesy of AT and T." Oh yeah, my right. God! No shit. That's a that's the only thing better than what they got now. Shit. Exactly, dude. I said that's for the same plant. She goes, "Yeah, aren't you aware that we have promotions?" I was like, "Yeah, but I've been we've been with Comcast so long that." <laughs> <laughs> We're used to getting rape, not not getting fucking oral treats. <laughs> yeah, I hate the oral treats. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, shit man. I fucking love AT and T, man. Couldn't believe it, dude. She's like, I said, I hate to be the guy that calls about a, a lower bill. I said, but. Uh, <laughs> It was awesome. Oh, man. Dude, that's fucking crazy, dude. It's fucking... It's it's awesome, dude. Fucking ridiculous. I bet as soon as you see it, you're freaking out. Like, man, they probably cut my service down to something. Or some, yeah. They, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> that's what I thought. Yeah, that's why we called them, dude. Because we didn't know if it was a glitch or fucking... But no, dude. It's because we paid the full amount last month. So we had a credit on our bill because we paid too much, apparently, because they gave us shit. It was crazy. I was like, okay, have a good day. I like hung up before she changed her mind. Oh, wait, it's a glitch. It's a glitch. It's a glitch. <laughs> oh, man. A fucking glitch. It's a glitch, sir. <laughs> Dude, this house I was working in this morning, there was like fucking 20 people living in there. No shit. I went in the basement. It was trashed. I mean, everything. It looked like fucking something out of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I'm I'm down there. It's all dark, and all of a sudden the covers lift up. And there's a guy down there sleeping, <laughs> just just in the garbage or whatever. That's it. Oh, Yo, fucking that reminds me of this this crazy ass story. Like one of my best friends, he was living with this this uh, with another one of my best friends, and uh, this guy was over there, and he was on my best friend's computer while my best friend was sleeping. And he just boots up porn and just starts jacking off, dude. While my buddy, my buddy was sitting there, like, he didn't say shit to him either. I was like, you just <laughs> let him finish? He's like, he's like, yeah, I didn't know what else to do. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Ooh. Crazy shit. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Shout out to, shout out to you, Cameron. I know you. <laughs> If you're out there, shout out to you, Cameron, for jacking off in front of my boy while he was acting like he was asleep. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's right. I said his name. On that note, time for work. That's fucked up, yo. Could you believe that? Would you? What would? What, like, I? there's no way I would just sit there and act like I was asleep while dude was jacking off on my computer. Oh, there ain't no man. fucking way. Hell no. Wait. Cameron did it, though. <laughs> Sick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Good man, Cameron. Everybody Good type job. Cameron's a sick fuck in the chat. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Keep right up to US 420 East. Hashtag Cameron rocks. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Cameron, Cameron gets relief. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Oh shit! And I'm out of here. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Hell yeah, man! So I hope y'all motherfuckers seen them Juggernauty jerseys that came in. Oh shit! Fire! Pure fucking. Are fire. these the ones that that Wolf was working on the design a while back? I don't. No, I don't think so. These are ones. Uh, this is Max's design. It's the one that says Max in it. If you look hard enough. I didn't see it. Oh man, it's got the pyramids on it. Um, it says Juggernauti has a hand under it. Oh yeah, on the back it says uh, Juggernauti, I believe, in seventeen percent. 
It sets fire though. Rod three point. Hey, yeah. All right, I gotta jump off here because now my boss is calling. You probably like, why the fuck didn't you answer the phone? Probably because all these bitches are calling him saying we're stuck. Oh no. can't reach him. (laughs) 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 I just ignored his call too, but. Oh shit. You better call him back. Now, I used to be the boss too. Oh, okay. So I decided I didn't want to be the boss anymore. I bet he's going to be laughing whenever he answers the phone. Like, why in the fuck are you not answering these guys? <laughs> <laughs> They're crying to me now because you won't answer. I didn't want to be the boss anymore for this exact reason because my phone didn't stop all day. Oh. So let That's me give him a call back and then uh, I'll jump back into the chat room. And just listen from there. All right, brother. All right, later. Later. Hell oh, yeah, you are. One has six 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 or six six five on the back. The other has seventy percent on the back. Yeah, that shit was fucking sick, yo. Fucking sick, man. That shit's pure fire. Hundred fifty dollars, you get a package, y'all. Oh man, it's gonna be fresh. You get a jersey. I believe you get the CD, the one with all the fucking collabs on it, all the good shit. Uh, you get. Um, you get like a, a personalized message on something you can hang on your wall for max. I think that's fucking dope. Dude. That's a good deal. S- seeming how you can go on to like psychopathic merch and buy just a Jersey for 150 bucks. I'm most probably yeah, about 150, something like that. Damn. I'm by myself. Vinyls. Yes. Vinyls. Yes, that's dope. That's that's a hell of a package, man. You can't go wrong with that. Like, the jerseys are fucking sick. Like, that's worth 150 to me all day long. You know what I'm saying? What's the Lynx, isn't it? I don't know if there's if they're up yet for a link, but. You damn right. I'm I'm damn well gonna give you one of them. Oh yeah. Socially grabbing everyone's booty. Self ladies. Oh god damn, not slip. Give it out each round to the first seventeen. Oh yeah. Sure, hopefully I get mine. I didn't even get a t-shirt yet. He said he was supposed to send me one of them a long time ago. I never got one. <laughs> but I don't expect him to do it for free. Crock pot bomb. Oh shit. Crock pot bomb, huh? You need to get you one of them instant pots, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you shit, shit straight fire. <laughs> If you like roast, if you like uh, corned beef, turns out pure fire in one of them instant pots, yo. I love food. I love I love to cook because because I'm like I'm like the next emerald. <laughs> I'm a, I should make an underground cooking channel, y'all. That'd be dope. Yeah, we'll we'll fucking we'll do some crazy shit. As long as I ain't making no chitlins. We'll do a, a instant pot motherfucking channel just for instant pot foods. We'll make some crazy we'll make up new names for this shit too, like some bloody ass fucking some underground wicked shit names for food. We'll make it up. All y'all can make it up. We'll just fucking roll with it. Oh, got to get my hair cut done tomorrow and colored again. Colored? Wait a minute, what? I I think I've been out the loop for a minute, but uh, Don, did you get your hair colored, homie? Hell yeah. Shout out to Don Chaos, man. 
straight up legit homie man straight up captain's back oh rock that hoodie yeah i want a hoodie too but i definitely just want a jersey that's really my main focus right now is juggernauti jersey Get 665. Hell yeah. Get the 665 one. That's what I'm saying, yo. The black one was fresh. I don't know if it's red or orange. It's hard to tell. That one's fresh. I think it's orange ish. <laughs> oh, shit. What a long day. Trying to figure out what the fuck this dude's doing over here. Yeah, I thought he was like dying or something. Apparently, he's just looking at his car. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh yeah, I can't wait to get that Tommy James shit so I can throw that in my car, add that to my six disc changer. Right now, I'm always really bumping fucking Trey Pounds amp and uh, Fearless Fred Fury. And when I wake up in the morning, I listen to my shit. My brother Max Capstone every morning. Every morning when I wake up, that shit gets turned on. Still. Still to this day. <clears throat> kind of gives you a little bit of motivation. It's one of the motivational songs. Know what I mean? Max is selling them. Oh, yep. Where this? Yeah, Max is selling them, homie. Like, it's a $150 bundle. And all that good shit. It's it's well worth it. It's well worth it. The jerseys alone are fucking sick, bro. Yeah, as soon as everything's ready for pre-orders, um, Trey Pounds music. Um, you can go over to check out Trey Pounds. Just type in Trey Pounds amp on uh, YouTube, and you'll it'll have some shit on there. But as far as um, as far as uh, getting some music, I can uh. I can link you up Rocks TV. Uh, I'm sure you got Rocks TV's fucking Facebook and all that shit. You can you can uh, message one of us over there from the Blues Fest and wins. See, that's the hard part, man. Trying to get over to fucking Canada right now. When I got that misdemeanor on my shit, I don't think it's bad enough to. Uh, it might be though, but I don't know. You know how they are at the border. I might have to go down and buy me a fucking um, passport and all that shit because I don't even have one of them. I used to just use my birth certificate. I've been searched at the border fucking more times than I want want to admit to. Right? Right. Stupid shit. Just stupid. I'm trying to get that shit taken off the record, though, because it's just retarded. This shouldn't even be there. Even the judge admitted that I should have been in the courtroom. So you're going to say that shit, then probably shouldn't have given me a fucking misdemeanor. Oh, no jail time. Just a misdemeanor with a fine. Shit was stupid. No, Trey Pounds music's dope though, man. If you haven't checked it out yet, you need to. I'm sure if y'all seen him on the tour, on the Shaggy Two Dope tour. Oh man, he rocks that shit, dude. He's good. Really is good.
Don gets up your one the chong chong. Hell yeah. Chong chong. Oh man. <laughs> <coughs> Stay up and I'll be safe. Hell yeah, it's all okay. I stay up. Be safe, homie. Much love and all that good shit. Yeah, just type in Trey Pounds and Amp, A M P. Uh, that's the name of his album. You'll see a bunch of the. I just have like a black album cover with like a fucking green line going across it. And then I have like a kind of like a heartbeat mine in their line. And I'll say Amp on it. I got this. It's probably in the car. I know I got the CD case here somewhere. I think it's in the car, though. Total fire. Um, the song, like, Kill Every Whack Rapper in the World. That shit's fucking fire. Uh, I used to hustle trees these days with flip beats. That shit's dope. Um, just the whole album's fucking pure, pure gold, dude. I love it. Crazy titty parties at my house. That shit's dope. Hell yeah, Chad and Captain Flannel Saucy Time. That's what's up, Chad. That's what's up. Later, Don. What's love, homie? Why am I not fucking... Uh, why am I only seeing top chat again? What the fuck? This shit's irritating. There we go. Tommy James is locked in Don's basement as we speak. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn, man. Oh, man. So if y'all want a show to watch, I don't know if y'all are into, like, like, history channel shit. But the Curse of Oak Island, fucking something that's, like, really addicting when you start watching it, man. It's like every episode makes you want to see what the next one brings. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Check that shit. There's the mystery of the Civil War gold, too. That shit's pretty good. This dude's from Michigan. Fucking, they spend millions and millions of dollars trying to find these buried treasures and shit that were left here from like way a long time ago. Like 1600 type shit, 1400s. They found a cross that goes back like 1200s. Shit's crazy. Naughty patches sold on Juggernauty website. Shit's are dope as fuck. Yeah, I want some of them. Those shits are dope, yo. I seen those. I seen your post on those. Those shits are fire. Definitely got to get some of them. I got a hoodies. I got a few hoodies. That I'm just gonna fucking deck out, yo. Some of mine that will sell them bitches now. Have a nice day. Have a nice Thursday. Hell yeah, Miss Moonshine. Whoop whoop. That's what's up. <sighs> yeah, man. What a day. What a fucking day. I tell you what. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. So what's y'all's plans for the weekend? Anybody in here got some big plans this weekend? I know some of y'all gotta have some kind of plans. I will be uh doing some camping. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Hell yeah. Going to the same place. 
with them same rangers that towed my vehicle a long time ago. Iron on two. Oh shit. Now, I like to iron them on and then go around it with some stitching so I know they ain't coming off and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's dope though, man. Fuck yeah. And they turned out so cl like clear. They look dope, man. They don't look like they're just I've seen some patches and they just doesn't look right you know what i'm saying like it looks blurry and it looks fucked up because the letters won't fit or you know what i'm saying but these are fucking on point man whoever made these ones are fucking on point this shit's fucking nice like my stepson and fiance in the basement and sleep peacefully hell yeah <laughs> Lock him in the garage, man. You're probably even sleeping any better, man. <laughs> oh. Put him in the basement. If you chain him to the chair and put a rat rag around their mouth. <laughs> You'll be able to sleep good. It's like, just sit here and shut up until I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, FBI took it? What? No way. Why would the FBI take it? That makes no sense. Oh, these guys up in uh, Oak Island, which is up by Nova Scotia, they uh, they had to fucking jump through hoops and shit. When they're out metal detecting, they had to get permits, and then they had to have a fucking archaeologist with them all the time. So then they had to pay somebody to come out and go around with them. The dude, like, they were digging up something with a bulldozer because they found, like, an imprint in the ground where it looks like something was buried. So they started bulldozing, and the dude's like, yo, we got to stop. Like, cut it now. That's what the archaeologist told him. Like, he's seen, like, man-made rock formations down there, and he's like, we're going to have to come out here and clean all this dirt away and then see what's going on here before we can go any further. I was like, damn. This is dope. That's crazy. It's supposed to be like a big gold pit under there. Yeah, I have to check that shit out, man. Going to Denver this weekend? That's what's up. Hell yeah, dude. Check out some good-ass dispensaries out there. Get some of that good-ass dank out there. Oh, man, bro. How far is Denver from you, Captain? Forgot. You said it once before, and I forgot. So it was like six hours or something. You saw cocaine. A real good time. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Hoping to hit some good dispensers. Yeah, buddy, man. That'll be, that'll be fucking, yeah. That's what I'm going to do when I go out there. Going on a tour of all the dispensaries. I want to I want to try all the weed. Eight hours away? God damn, bro. You should be leaving like right now. <laughs> you might as well leave right now. Shit. What <laughs> are you going to enjoy the whole weekend? Oh, man. You should maybe come chill, Captain. Hell yeah, Don. <sighs> yeah, man. I'm, I probably won't be leaving state again until the gathering. Till the gathering. Then I just go one state away, which it's still fucking six, seven hours for me to get there. Plus, I got to stop and pick up Wolf. Company tours in America, South America. Oh man, the, what? They do cocaine tours down there. <laughs> That's fucked up. I, I, I'm good on all that. <laughs> I'm good on that shit, yo. I'm driving myself, but. Supposed to pick up Wolf. <coughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
Hail to the yeah. Oh, shit, man. 21 of y'all motherfuckers watching. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. For, uh, yeah. Seven hours, I believe. I believe it's seven hours. It's going to be a fucking trip, but it's probably going to take about eight or nine hours because I stopped pick up Wolf. Oh, Wolf's like maybe 45 minutes to an hour away. So it's kind of on the way. Yeah, I guess it uh, almost on the way. I kind of out of the way, but on the way at the same time. Normally, I just take 69 across and 69 south, straight down into Indiana. But uh, now I'm gonna have to go down to 23 till I get to Wolf's house and then cut across from there. 94 probably. But it ain't bad though. Ain't nothing but a thing. Ain't nothing but a thing. Yeah, it's big shots from Brooklyn for scooping up Steel City. That's dope. Big shots Tommy James for hooking up fucking Josh with the fucking ticket, yo. That was sick. That's fucking pure dope, yo. Now I just gotta figure out how to get mine. I'm working at it, so I should be able to get it soon. And then I just got to worry about fucking motel or something. Motel Fago. I got to take Fago with me, like at least 10, two liters. <laughs> nope, not yet. I don't know if he did or not. He might have. I don't even know. I don't know if he got it yet. I know he got his ticket for the uh, Fury Fest, though. That's what's up. I believe that's coming to his hometown this weekend, maybe. I know he's going to that. That's that's fucking fresh, y'all. It's his first ICP concert. So if y'all was going to be in the Dayton area, show him some fucking love, y'all. <laughs> shit oh man yeah, my copy of Forgotten Fresh and Six at the gathering Steel City said I'll grab you some sh some shirt oh some shit I think you meant but I'm I'm coming in them juggalo chop <laughs> oh my god it's washable steel oh god damn oh man Yeah, that's dope, dude. Like, I think that was pretty fresh in to do that. Oh man, with me, dude, it's like I just get it. I'm like, I almost had enough saved up to get a ticket after paying all these fucking bills, and then something else comes up. It's like, are you fucking serious? Like, fuck it. <laughs> It'll just come in due time. It'll be here. Time will come, motherfucker. Yeah, buddy. Still. Hey, Venus. Whoop, whoop. Oh, man. <sighs> Busy. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. Let me, uh, let me send you a link, homie. You know, I'm always down to have done that. Always. Copy. Oh, I know I got you on here.
Yes, sir. I'm sending it to you in Hangouts. There you go. Oh, so yes. So what about that reggae shit Ron was playing earlier, y'all? Like, I don't know about y'all, but that shit's like some chill music, man. You can sit back, smoke down, and just rock out to some reggae. That shit's fresh. I like it. <coughs> <coughs> See, my music, my, my uh, choice of music goes beyond fucking wicked shit. As much as I don't like listen to anything else but underground rap, like, it does go beyond that. Because I don't listen to rock anymore. I don't listen to country. I don't listen to pop, popular music, if you will. Um, I don't listen to none of that. No, no R and B. Nothing like that. I mean, I'm not going to take anything away from any R and B or any of them other artists because they're good at what they do. But nowadays on the radio, when you hear these people singing country, that's not country. That's pop. That's more, that's more like pop. Like pop country. Yeah, there you go. It's like country mixed with... With... Uh, something. Something else. But it's not real country. You see that? Video? Oh my God, yes. Satellites. The video satellites, it was fresh. And I think if they wouldn't have animated themselves i think it would have been even more fresh i think that like it, it looked pretty cool i guess you know but for the for the music video i think they should have just been like they would just have them actual selves there like you know what i'm saying like i think it would have been a lot better the whole video itself would have been dope but it's just the animated part that i just didn't really care for had it been cool had it been something else you know what I'm saying, but like an actual video you watch, not a music video, but like a cartoon or something, that'd have been dope. But as far as a music video, I think they should have just fucking used themselves. Oh yeah, the handful of pills. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I got that out of that too. But like it seemed like he spit most of them back out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it was all right. It was all right, man. I don't like. I don't like the way that, like the song to do it, fucking the words and shit. That one that was just stupid. I hate that shit. We want to see them, not words. You know what I'm saying? Like, so both these videos, like, uh, I don't like Magic Spell song at all. Not from Twisted. Like, I would have liked it if it came from somebody else. But since it came from Twisted, I just don't want. I don't like it because that's not what I see. I want Twisted to be doing right now. I think it's more like a personal thing, I guess. What up, Don? What up, though? Oh shit, the Karma Millionaire joins us, y'all. <laughs> What's happening, bro? It's been a while. Nothing much. It's just chilling, bumping tunes. Hell yeah. So you're getting your hair done, huh? Yep. What color are you going with? Blue. Blue? Shit. Never had it blue like that last time, but it was hard to tell. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be easier to tell this time but I'm actually going to bleach it so you can actually tell that it's blue this time. Oh, yeah. Then you better wait a while before you dye your hair again, bro. I'm telling you. You're going to end up with a fucking hairline like mine. <laughs> I've dyed my hair so much at one time, uh, once before. Dude, I've dyed my hair like three times in a week before. Like when I was like, my when I was a teenager, like doing Juggalo shit, going to ICP shows. And shit, I was always dying my fucking hair. And I got, it got to the point because I was long and I had it up in, like like spider leg braids and shit i had i got to the point where my hair would stretch and it would just snap like because my hair was so fucking gone from the dye yeah i'm also gonna do a faux hawk like how i 
Oh yeah. Yep. Oh shit. Got to got to look better than Sids, right? <laughs> well, that's a mohawk. A faux hawk is something a little different. Yeah. It's just long in the front more than the back. Yeah, it's basically in the center where it stays long, but you keep the sides all short. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like what Tech Nine used to have. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Kind of like the Miz used to have, too. <laughs> I had a homegirl who used to have spider legs back in the day, but she found an easier way to do it without messing up your hair. Really? Yeah, just use rubber glands, but don't use, like, glue. Use actual, like, gel and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just fucking put 100 rubber bands in my hair. All the way through my fucking, the whole length of it. I just rubber band the shit out of it, dude, and it fucking held pretty good. Because if you use gel when you do them, the rubber bands come out easily. Yeah, yep. And also, you gotta buy them fucking, not the rubber bands, but the fucking... Uh, what are they, latex ones? Yeah. Or what, yeah, those ones, because they don't pull as much as the rubber band. Rubber bands fucking pull, dude. And that shit hurts like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's what she would use. She'd use those latex bands. Yeah. I hated that shit, man. I thought about going back and doing some shit like that, but I just can't. I don't know, man. I just can't bring myself to grow my hair out that long. Right, I always have to have my hair short, especially in the summer. Yeah, dude, like, I tried it for a second, and it got, like, an inch longer than what it is now, and I'm like, oh, no, it's got to go. <laughs> it's got to go. Yeah, so my sisters know someone that could do my hair for me and stuff. Nice, dude. So you could say I have my own personal hairstylist now. Nice. I got my own personal barber. For sure. It's an old, older lady. Or we'll just dye my hat for me. Oh, yeah. I like my barber because she uses a straight blade to touch it everything up with. Oh, man. Shit's fire. <laughs> Is she good looking? No, she older. Old, old. <laughs> she old, old, old. Lady. Mm -mm. Nope, I don't know. I'm close. Oh, man. Damn, yeah. Dan, I always got those fresh accessories. Got some fresh accessories now. Hell yeah. I've just been... In. Oh, yeah, it's pretty fucking bright where you're at, yo. The oh, yeah. It's shining. We actually have good news. Actually, for once, after 20 years, Colorado is finally drought-free. Drought-free, huh? Yeah, we've been in a really bad drought for the last 20 years. No shit? Yeah. Well, you ever had no rain? Well, like, we've had a little bit of rain, but during the summer, we didn't get, like, a lot of rain like we should. But now everything's all green. It doesn't feel too hot anymore like it's been the past 20 years i'm like wow it's actually starting to feel like summer when i was a kid where it's not too hot to go outside dude that's sweet man hell yeah yeah i, I understand how that goes we'll get tons of rain here in the springtime dude like and with the droughts the last 20 years we've been getting really bad forest fires here oh yeah i can imagine that sucks and it's tornado season here, so yeah. Hell oh, yeah. What? Whatever the fuck your name is, says, but I want to be in the chocolate factory. What? Kelly? No, Colorado. <laughs> Catching up on the chat. I haven't been to California in like God knows how long. That's one place I ain't been to yet. I think I it was like when I was there. Yeah? Yeah. Shit. Damn, man. Yeah, I can't wait to go to Cali. 
Yeah, a lot more people are moving from California and a lot more people are like moving to like other states. There's this YouTube channel I talk about where this guy like talks about like worst cities in America, best cities to live in in America. And then he'll say or best cities to live in what state and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. And I guess some of the top states that people from California are moving to, I guess like Utah and Colorado is one of them. No need to come to Michigan, shit. Because I guess the economy is getting really bad, like in California, to where it's like expensive living. Because a lot of people are like, oh, the California dream's not real. I'm like, really? You people just now realize that? Yeah, man. People go based off of facts off the internet when we got places here, dude, that's like fucking every house is a million dollar house, dude, for fucking miles. You know what I'm saying? That we got tons of that. But. Then we got other areas that are just fucking full of crime and water problems and all kinds yeah, of shit. I always tell people if you move to Colorado, just don't move to Denver. Unless you have a good paying job or good money, then live in Denver. But if you don't want to deal with traffic and crazy shit, move away from Denver. Right. Like me, I just live like I live way outside of Denver now. I live in the boonies now, basically. Oh yeah. Cost of living. Oh, yeah. See, the cost of living out there is crazy. It's not as bad here, but it can be in certain areas. That's like how it is, too. But that's probably with anywhere. Yeah. There's places like we got Flint. Just below us, we got Grand Blank, which is a really ritzy neighborhood area. Then we got fucking Auburn Hills. Uh, Holly's pretty nice. We got fucking Rochester Hills. Oh my god, we got so much Dearborn Heights. Tons of fucking tons of places around here that are just really expensive to live in. Not Dearborn, but Dearborn Heights. <laughs> the price of the is a lot cheaper to live in now, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. Never thought I'd hear that. Right. Michigan's not going to be too bad once they figure all this weed shit out, but they're trying to still treat it like it's a fucking, like, if you're, if you're driving high, like you're just, like you're drunk or something. And I think that's stupid. Like, yeah, pretty much how the law is here in Colorado. You just have to be 21 or older to, like, to yeah. buy. Yep. Or 18 with the medical card that too that's what it is at the uh the oh the clio uh cannabis cup is coming up and it has like some of their artists on there and uh i even put down that i want to see twisted perform there i i told the dude that operates it i want to see twisted perform there and i think they should headline it I'm so gonna, probably should <laughs> that or at least have blaze perform yeah this guy works with normal. He works with uh, high times a lot. So, and that's like the same people my dad worked with. So, like, um, reach out to this guy and tell him, like, look, man, I think Twisted needs to be here. ISP was here last year and they fucking just killed it. This year they need Twisted here, and uh, I think they should headline because they're just gonna kill it. You know what I'm saying? Like, because they don't have anybody good really on there yet. They got. <laughs> They got a few. Let me see here. What we got? I mean, hell, get Snoop Dogg on there. He's been here. He comes here a lot, actually. Nice. How about Method Man and Red Man? I got a homeboy that sells him weed all the time. He buys fucking thousands of dollars of weed just in a day or two. Um, okay. Yeah, I think... I don't know if Red Man and Method Man's been there yet. I'm not sure on that one. They've done a lot of 420 festivals here in Colorado. Yeah, I bet they have, dude. I know Snoop Dogg's performed here once on 420. Suicide Boys have performed here. Hmm. Right, where's it at? I gotta find um, the dude on. For anyone who is going to the gathering, enjoy um, Suicide Boys set. Y'all are in for a treat. 
Oh, yeah. Hell of a treat. All right, let me find this dude. Um, I know I got him on here. Has Cypress Hill ever performed there? Uh, I don't know about there, but I know they performed a few other spots here. I went and seen them at when I was a kid. Went to Ed. So more hippie events that they performed at. Nice. Um, we used to do this Rainbow Farm place that was just fucking an awesome, dude. It was so sweet. They had fucking uh, Merle Haggard came out there. Um, they had uh, Dave Nitrous Band, we called them. They got caught selling nitrous balloons. Nice. Hmm. The, uh... What the fuck did I do with this guy, man? I know he's out here. Just like anyone that's going to see Ghostmane at the gathering, enjoy too. His show is freaking energetic. Hell yeah. All right, so far we got uh, Lil Skies. Too short. That's too one short that's, should be dope. Yeah, proof, prof, whatever the fuck it is. It looks like proof, but it's 1 0. <laughs> I've heard that name before. Don't really pay attention to him, but trick 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 trick's gonna be there. Willie yeah. J, Willie J Peso, and TNL, and then more announced soon. Yeah, twenty one and over. You don't have to have a card. Eighteen to twenty, you have to have a card. Helen Blaze should perform their Blaze and ABK. Yeah, that'd be dope too. Well, I remember seeing. Uh, Paul talked about wanting to perform at the, he called it Cleo Cannabis Cup, but I was like, fuck, dude, if I told old dude, then I'm sure he can fucking get him, get him lined up. So I tag twisted it and everything. Said, yo, hook these guys up. What up, Lakeland Lunacy? Oh, shit. I just looked up at the chat and see Lakeland up in there. It's been a minute, bro. How, 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 you know how we miss you, man. Oh, he's a lot. He's always busy for sure. All I gotta say is Lakeland, me and Roxy and Scotty, we got big thing more entertainment coming. Oh shit! Anything I about see we been enjoying a lot of those little edit voiceover videos we've been doing. Oh, I heard something about that too, man. Ouija distant uh, jelly roll. You hear anything about that, Don? What about jelly roll? Ouija distant, I guess. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't know. I guess Crazy mentioned it last night is what Dustin Ordendorf says, but I want to know about this. I heard something, somebody say something about it, but I didn't, I didn't hear it myself. Man, yeah, I tell you, you just hear straight from the horse's mouth. It's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Lakeland has been way too long, homie. Been way too fucking long. <clears throat> Oh, shit. Oh, man. Hell, yeah. So, yeah, if we can get fucking Twisted lined up for the Cannabis Cup, I'm going to go show up to that because it's, like, right down the road from my house. So I'm going to go show up to that, record that shit, or try to live stream it. It's right at the racetrack, right down the road. My homeboys race at. What do you think of that satellite video? I thought it was pretty fresh, except for the animated part. I didn't really care for the animation. That but, shit was true. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of understand they're trying to do it because dude is fucked up on pills, but he's like spit most of the pills out before the fuck. You know what I'm saying? It showed him spitting half the fucking pills back out. Like, you know what it reminds <laughs> me of? An old school tribe called Quest video. Yeah, it reminded me of like those old hip hop videos when they would like use animation mixed with real life. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> but like it was the, so gay back then when they did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they had some like little little pop singers love song type shit. <laughs> the end cracked me up when they both wake up and they're both drunk and then he's like mm, and he just passes out again. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude, that shit's fire. When I like the message of what that song gets out, like where they're saying, you think your life is bad, look at all these other people ran around you who probably have it worse than you. Right, yeah, pretty much. Especially the part with the old man, he's like sitting by himself, but he's like expecting his wife like to be sitting next to him. Yep. It's a good message if people know what they're listening for. Some people just listen to it, just listen to some of the words and it don't make sense to them because they don't understand it, you know, and so they don't listen to it. But if you understand what the fuck they're saying, then it makes perfect fucking sense. That's why I tell people it's a play on words. It's looking at other people's lives like you're a satellite, basically. Mm-hmm. That's right, man. It's fucking it's crazy. Pretty dope satellite head I had your man on it. <laughs> yeah. One day juggalos will be in outer space. <laughs> oh, I've probably already been in space, but that's purely speculation at the moment. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit. I guess Ghetto Boys canceled that farewell tour, but they're still like performing the gathering at least. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I guess they got rid of that. <coughs> Bushwick, he still said he's going to perform at the gathering, so we should, y'all should consider yourselves lucky. Yeah, boy. Good old Bushwick, man. Yeah, when I found that out that he had stage four cancer, I literally broke down. <laughs> Damn, yeah, that shit sucks, man. Because a lot of people don't know, Bush, Big Bill, and Ghetto Boys, those dudes have had an impact, like, for years. Yeah, for sure. They definitely have. They're legends, basically. You could thank them for, uh, um, was it Assassin's? Is that what yep. it was? Yeah, assassins, man. One of the fucking I'm best fucking ICP songs to date. Of NWA. California had NWA, but Texas had Ghetto Boys. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yes, sir. <coughs> Don't forget other such classics as mine playing tricks on me. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Holy fuck, dude. That's our fucking old school. Yep. Yep. For those of you that were around back then, y'all remember them, motherfuckers. Even those their solo that... was good. Oh fuck yeah! All of it, dude. Good old Bush... Bushwick's the... fucking awesome though. Yeah, they did a lot of stuff with Ghetto Boys, whether doing cover songs or something. Yeah. That was. Um. I want to say fucking. I might be wrong, I, yeah, but it, or didn't they do like a prank yeah, phone call yeah. thing? ICP did like mind playing tricks on me. They actually did playing with God, which is a Willie D solo song. Yeah. Didn't they do like a fucking phone prank thing back in the day? Probably. They're getting talking about kick my dog or some shit. I don't remember what it was. I don't remember which one it was, but I remember. That they did some crazy shit like that. It might have been just a song. From, I think, Jerky Boys back in the day. Jerky Boys. That's what it was. Yeah. It's yes. Like Middle Eastern guy. He's like, why are you kicking my dog? Yeah, dude. The Jerky Boys. That's what they were called. I was, like, confusing the two for a minute. But, yeah, dude. The Jerky Boys were. That shit was fire, bro. 
Yeah, for a while, I always thought that was from Crank Yankers. Anyone remembers that show? Yes, dude. <laughs> Crank Yankers. Oh, my God, dude. This show was kind of, it was so corny. It was funny as fuck, though. Remember one part. time Max actually played himself on there? Uh-huh. Shit was hilarious. Oh, dude, that's just dope. Anyone remember Reno 911? How funny that show was. Yeah, that shit was so. That was one of them other stupid humor shows, man. It was just fucking stupid funny. Guy, the fucking one cop walking around in super short shorts and shit. I was just like, Jesus, dude. These guys know they're going to get paid really well for this. Or, you know what I mean? It's funny because it was actually filmed in Reno too, and sometimes in Reno they do deal cops deal with crazy shit like that. Mm-hmm. True story. <laughs> yeah, that shit was good. And that one dude, the main dude, he's like a, a actor, actor, but like uh, you see him a lot more now. What the fuck was his name? I'm trying to think, but he's a known comedy actor too. Yeah, yeah, comedy actor. Yep. It's funnier than shit. Oh, man. I don't know about the rest of the cops on there. I know he's, I remember him. I see him quite a bit now. The one girl cop on there, the one with the short hair, him and her actually husband and wife in real life. Oh, no shit. Yep. It seems like, man, those are like the most fucking unprofessional cops in the world. <laughs> that show is so well, funny, dude. Yeah, because it's a parody on cop shows, which what makes it funny. Yeah, it's super funny, dude. I love that shit. I have a feeling that show was inspired by Trailer Park Boys, just saying. It, it had to have been, dude. It had to have been. That shit was too fucking funny, man. Because Trailer Park Boys is just like that, where it looks like a real reality show, but real life taking place in a trailer park. Yeah, I love that shit, too. This is dope. Look, sometimes, man, you watch this uh, dude, he's a, he's a bounty hunter, whatever, Petty Mayo, he's a fake bounty hunter on fucking YouTube. But uh, he fucking has some funny ass shit sometimes, dude. That shit cracks me up. He plays a cop and then he plays a bounty hunter and someone. Do you remember those par- those spoof videos where the dude like goes through a drive through and he impersonates wrestlers? No, oh, yeah. Yep. The cops the are trailer part boys. Crack me up is when he went like too really crazy and he's like trying to RKO the like speaker. Yeah. I was like, jeez. Ninja with a pencil says the cops are trailer party boys are just as stupid as the cops from Reno 911. That's true as fuck. <laughs> Like, they fell for some of the stupidest tricks from Ricky, dude. He got away with so much shit. But yeah. every season they went to jail, it seemed like. That shit was funny as shit. It's cool how Randy's going to be at the gathering. Yes, dude. That's that's so fucking fresh, dude. I wish the rest of the trailer park boys would show up with him. That'd be so right. sweet. My sister saw him a few years ago before the one guy passed away and they were doing a like comedy show at Red Rocks. Oh yeah. So um Um I seen was it Mitch say something about trying to get Kevin Smith to the gathering? You know, they're kinda they are uh kinda like juggalo, so they might show up. What's that? Yeah, who did the gathering? Uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Or uh, Kevin Smith, Silent Bob. Uh, I'd love to see it. Oh, dude, I'd be, I would like to see both of them there. That'd be fucking sick. Hell, just have the whole cast from Clerks there. Clerks, the whole Trailer Park Boys cast. Oh, my God, bro. Have them all do a comedy sketch together. Oh, dude, that'd be sick. That'd be epic, bro. Like... That would be so fucking epic. Like I was talking with Roxy the other day and I tell a lot of people this. I'm like, you know what's sad is we never got a Robin Williams and Jim Carrey comedy movie together. Hell yeah. Shit would have been funny. 
What up, guys? What up, DJ? I just want to jump in real quick. I just seen your comment, Hell Spit. Hell yeah, I appreciate that love, bro. Good, good on you, bro. Comment where? Oh. Oh, hell yeah. He left a comment from yesterday. I didn't see it because for some reason, like because me and you both have that app on our phone, like I don't get to see all the comments. Like I got to keep refreshing to see them. Oh, yeah. of, but <laughs> I'm on it. Hell spit. Whoop, whoop. Hell yeah. I'm about, I got up, a... Don? What up? Chilling, chilling. I'm digging that shirt. Thank you. Oh, shit. Bob, went, I got to call Bob. Hold on a minute. I'm actually going to get this tattooed somewhere down the line. Don't know what color. Oh, yeah? They want to know if you went and saw Ghost Mane. No, I didn't. Yeah. But all I got to say is anyone who is going to the gathering, just look up Ghost Mane's live performance. Holy shit, he's going to tear that shit down. Oh, he's going to tear it up. He tears it up, bro. That dude can spit. Holy shit. Yeah. Scream I mean, he spit. High pitch and then he can sound like an old grudge singer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's good, man. And if you've actually watched his interviews, he's very intellectual and very smart and intelligent. It's crazy. Yeah, he's a real smart dude. Knows his shit. Super nice. Super seems like a super cool down to earth dude. Talented too. He's talented, man. That's why I tell people you have to have talent to be able to change your flow up like that. Yeah, absolutely. And plus he produces all this shit too. He's like a one man army. Oh, got a customer. Hold on. Hold it down. I've always said Ghost Main is like the Marilyn Manson of rap music. <laughs> I was actually talking to Ouija at Fury Fest, and he said he really wants to do a track with Ghost Man. I'm like, yes, make it happen. Looks like one of my neighbors might be working on his car. It's one of my neighbors around here is a race car driver.
So who's all turning into the Hours of Chaos podcast tonight? <clears throat> oh, shit. A little rapid rapper. No one really knows what I'm after. This shit's a disaster. Uh, I fucking love Tommy James, bro. Yes. How can you not? Like, dude spits straight fire. And he's a chill, humble dude. Yep, yep. Definitely. That dude's always showing me mad love. Hell yeah. Shows me nothing but love, too. It's all He's all I've been listening to the past couple days. Hey, Tommy, if you're still in the chat, try to get a track with Ghost Bang. Oh, that would be fire. I was actually talking to Ouija at Fury Fest, and he said he's trying to get that like ghost main to do a song i'm like you two should you two would actually play off well with each other the, i actually the song with with uh that's the first time i ever heard of him was with uh yaya the gremlin actually that song that they did together it was pretty fire my son's been fucking with ghost main heavy but i never knew about him until he was like because i texted him the other day and I was like, man, I've been listening to Ghost Mane a lot. He's like, oh, Dad, he's so good. I, he's like, I tried to tell you about him. I was like, oh. But he's, he's, you know, he's 21. So, like, I'm like that old man. I'm like, I'm not listening to that whippersnapper. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's why I tell people, some of these younger dudes are actually really good. You just got to check them out. Yeah. Yeah. It, that's, and that's true, man, because... Like, well, when my son's like, Dad, I was trying to tell you about him, but it's like, I don't know, like, he's young. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, because, <laughs> like, so when, when my stepkids be playing music, I'm like, turn that shit off. What is that? <laughs> well, when you listen to him, he talks about some pretty crazy stuff, and that's why when someone told me the right Ghost Bane is mainstream, I'm like, what? Have you ever heard a Ghost Bane song? He talks about some fucked up shit. Yeah, he's not mainstream. Really. He's... He's like a SoundCloud dude like everybody else. <laughs> He's basically independent. Yeah. And that's why I tell people if you've been heard his lyrics, he talks about crazy messed up <laughs> stuff. <laughs> From what I understand, he was in a metal band at first. Kind of like Skrillex. Oh, I know where he gets like his influence, like when he changes up his flow, when he goes... Rawr, rawr, yeah. Well, I said he's always like the Marilyn Manson of like rap music. Yeah, he's good too, man. He's not. It's not garbage like that mumble shit. It's actually good shit. I know it's funny when people think mumble and trap are the same thing. I'm like, no, 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 no. They're two different things. Yeah. I was like, right. trap just the type of beats that you use, which there's nothing wrong with that. Hell yeah, I, I do mean, that some- dope. Some I wanted to go over trap beats, yes, but there's a difference. <laughs> dude, I wanted to tell you about that, getting that shout out from Brother Lynch, dude. That was the shit, bro. I know. I bet no one saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> right? How was he live? He threw it down? Oh, yeah. He's really good. I looked it up. He's like 50 already. I did not know he was that. Oh, good. yeah. I fi- dude, I figured that because when I first heard him, dude, like, I, like I said, I saw him on Jenny Jones, bro. Like, how long has that show been off the air? <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember because he was, like, on because that controversy that happened with that kid. Yeah, that, and, that like, the whole point of him being on that show was for people to not listen to him. I went to the record store and bought two of his albums that day and checked him out. I was yeah. like, oh, this shit. But, you know, I was listening to ICP at the time, too, so, you know, like, it wasn't shocking to me, you know. I'm like, I, what? What do you mean? Like, this shit ain't shocking. Like, <laughs> it's crazy how that came out around the same time as Bone Thugs' first album. Yeah. So it definitely has like a West Coast like Bone Thugs feel to it. Yeah. Yep. But that's what's crazy, man. Is everybody was all like, "Oh, who talks about eating people and shit?" Blip. Like, making a big deal out of it. And I'm like, dude, my favorite rappers paint their faces up like clowns and fucking all they do is rap about killing people. This shit ain't shit. 
<laughs> what do you mean? But yeah, I think the kid that actually did do that crazy stuff from listening to his music actually was from here in Colorado. It actually happened here in Colorado. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Because I was reading it and it said Bailey, Colorado. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> no, wait, dude. I think I, no, I think I listened to Brother Lynch before ICP, actually, because I didn't hear of ICP until Riddlebox came out. Yeah, and I think Season of the Six came out around the same year as that. 92, I believe. I think it was like 92-ish. Jenny... Yeah, and the Jenny Jones episode was, I believe, around the time that that out, because that was the album I bought, was Season of the Sick, and I bought something else. I can't remember, because it, like, there was only like a c- couple of his albums out. Because before Season of the Sickness, he dropped an EP called um, 24 Deep, which came out in 92. Yeah, I believe the Is that the one with the... Um, is that the EP with the um, beat that Twisted used on the Smoke Break? I believe so, and it's the cover of that, him, like, often and stuff. Yep, that's... Yep, uh, those are the two I bought. I remember now. I remember buying Season of the Sick because they had now eat on it. Because Daddy's working hard for you. <laughs> He's so dope live still. I bet. He's pushing 50. Shit, the clowns are pushing 52, though, and they still throw it down. Same with Tech 9. Yeah. Look at I, don't nice. think, I think Shaggy, Shaggy's not quite there yet. Isn't he like 47? I, I, He's like, what, 60 something, and he's still going? Yeah. <laughs> How old is Shaggy? Like, four, like, he's like four, like, I know he's younger than Jay quite a bit. And Jay's like 48 or something like that. A good question. I'll have to look that up. Right? I know. <laughs> I don't have it on t- deck. I know I looked it up when they were on Vlad because I was looking at Jay and I was like, damn, Jay's. You can see the age through his paint. <laughs> Same with Esham. Esham killed it at that show, too. And even Brett Lynch said, this is the first time that me and Esham have ever, ever done a show together. Damn, that's crazy. And they both been around about the same time. So if anyone has a chance to also go see that Esham show, enjoy it because his live band that he's bringing with him is so dope. Damn. He got a band with him? Yep, and they're like wearing all these like vests with pins. It looks like an old 80s like rock, punk rock group. Oh, nice, dude. So dope. And with Ooh, this I went tour, to the show. Or mean songs that he's never ever performed. Nice. Who all was there? Was Roxy there? Oh yeah, and then we had Insane Poetry performing there, which you know, Insane Poetry is an originator too. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. So we actually had three legends in the house. Four, if you count Scum, because Scum's been around for actually twenty years. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, Scum. Yeah, I know Scum's been around for a while. So technically, we had four legends all in one night. <laughs> Damn. And how much was tickets? Like only $18, $19. You'd think it would have been more. Damn, no shit, dude. $19 is worth it for Esham alone. Right? <laughs> shit. See, KRS One is performing at the gathering. That shocked me. Shit, that that shocked me, but not nowhere near as much as Morris Day in the fucking time, boy. That is shocking. Like, like <laughs> that just blew my wig off. I was like, what? Basically, what I said about KRS One, I'm like, it's about damn time. Yeah, KRS One should have been been, but the time, bro, like. Man. Yeah, yeah. 
I wonder if is Speak Your Clout going to uh is Mike going to the gathering? I bet he's gonna try to make it now. <laughs> I have no idea. I'd have to ask him. He said that because when he was on our show, he said the time is one of his favorite bands of all time. <laughs> I'm like, me too, bro. Like, no shit. Shouts to Mike Sears. Hell yeah. Me and that dude go way back. That's what he was saying. He's a cool ass dude for sure. That's why I tell people you want to talk music, wrestling, he's the dude to talk to. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely has a knowledge in all that shit. What's up, boy? You call Bob or what? Hello? <laughs> Must still be gone. <laughs> he just jump in, jumps in for a hell yeah and then dips again. He's like, I'm going to give a hell yeah, and then I'm going to leave dead air. That's right. Got to stick to our roots. It's the best thing you can do. That's why I told people the thing of difference between me is that I'll never forget my roots and where I've come from. That's right. That's why I tell people, as long as you continue to work hard, but you never forget where you came from, but you help other people come up, that's actually being good. Right? Stick to your roots. Bring them up. Never bring them down. Whew, I got the air on in here. Feeling good. I don't know if you were in here earlier, but I actually was telling War that finally after 20 years, Colorado is finally drought free. Oh, for real? Yeah, because for the past 20 years, we've been in a very bad drought. Oh, damn. What do you think of mushrooms being legal? You think that's the shit? Well, I guess I heard that psychedelic mushrooms aren't as bad for you if you take a little bit, in, and it does help with anxiety and apparently depression. I don't know, because I never did that shit. Yeah, I ain't never tried. No, I ain't never fucked with that. I've only done weed, and that is it. I'm like, dude, I'm already crazy as fuck, dude. Could you imagine me on some, some fucking mushrooms, bro? No way. Like, there, I, there's no fucking way. I guess they don't give you a full mushroom. They just give you like a little bit, like just to help you relax. Because I guess there are some mushrooms that do like help for like medicine and stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it has. I mean, they're natural, you know, just like marijuana shit. The benefits of that shit is insane. And mushrooms are good, especially if you have deep fried mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Mushrooms all day, bro. All motherfucking day. Hell yeah. If y'all are ever in Colorado, I have to take you to this restaurant. The deep fried mushrooms are like this big. Mm. Jesus. Yeah, dude. We got a restaurant yeah. here in town that's like yeah. that. Yeah. Woo. You have to eat them. Dude, these, the mushrooms that we have at this restaurant we go to, dude, you got to use a fork to eat them. That's how big they are. <laughs> Oh, shit. So Bob hit me up on the assignment, y'all. It's going to be good. Oh, yeah? Should I the Olive Garden. They have a huge meatball there. It's huge. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. I've seen that commercial. I was like, holy shit. Hey, Olive Garden's got some good food. They do, man. But <clears throat> you can get pretty much the same. And just right. as fire, just as cheap at Fazoli's, though. Yeah, Fazoli's is good. Yeah, them breadsticks, bud. Mm. <coughs> Always get that lasagna at Fazoli's, bud. Mm. I'll fuck that lasagna up. Fuck it all up. All day lasagna, bro. Lasagna's like, that's my, that's my favorite shit. Like, pizza's up there, but like, Pizza and sub sandwiches, that's up there, but fucking lasagna, bro. I'm oh, like Garfield when it comes to that shit. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. 
<laughs> Don't forget cake. I love spaghetti. I love oh, lasagna. Really? Yeah. I just Even like Fazoli got really good cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. Fazol. Yeah, their cheesecake is fire, dude. Everything about it. and it's cheap, dude. Like it's way I, cheaper than Olive Garden. There's this one cheesecake there. It was like orange flavored cheesecake, and it basically tastes like orange sherbet ice cream flavored cheesecake. It was so good. Oh my god. I wouldn't get I didn't get down to that. <laughs> Sounds good. I know the lasagna is fucking fire, dude. I get that almost every time. I was always getting that sampler platter because but then I'd always just want the lasagna, so then I wouldn't enjoy the other noodles and shit. And I just get to the lasagna and they give you like a little piece. It's like man my we make good homemade lasagna. Yeah. My wife makes fire ass lasagna. Oh shit, yeah. Going over my uh assignment right now and I am fucking so happy with how they fucking set all this up. This is so fucking nice. I wish everybody <laughs> could do this. Are you gonna you and you and Bob gonna have a fake beef too? No, 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 no. It's not oh. it's, a, it's a writing assignment. I'm a writer over there. <laughs> You and Bob could have a fake beef too. No, hell no, man. <laughs> Me and Don, we beefing. We beefing. We beefing over that last piece of spaghetti. Yeah, we beefing over that cheesecake, fam. I don't know how fake the actual fucking beef is, man. They were yawning at each other, but I think they're playing it, playing it on the show pretty good, though. Like, it seems like they're pretty mad at each other. Bob's pretty upset, but I think he sees an opportunity here. I'm thinking that's what's going on. <laughs> All I have to say is both Bob and and Sid, those are my bros. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. They're both my homies. Chinchilla head for life. <laughs> uh, maybe I should create controversy and bring Sid on my show tonight. <laughs> Uh, hey, if you put sit on your show, you don't even gotta do nothing, bro. You just gotta sit there. You don't even. It's like the easiest thing ever. It's like bringing CPN on. You ain't gotta do shit. Uh, Sis next says Don and I are beefing if he doesn't show up to the gathering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys probably heard. I can't go. To, I don't want to go to the gathering now. Yeah. I'm really? Gonna... Why? Yeah, I don't want to go. I don't know why. Why would you not want to go to the gathering? Cause, dude, he's he's on the boat with me, man. I don't want to go either. Like, I, that's I don't. Know. It's kayfabe. He wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going? Next thing you know, you're gonna see Don walk up. Like, the only reason I, the only reason I would want to go is, of course, the benefit concert. Fuck yeah, and fucking Morris Day in the time. But. The Randy, you gotta, you can't forget Randy's cheeseburger shit, yo. That's gonna be mad for us, bro. Yeah, yeah. but it'd be even more fresh if the actual TPB was there. It would be fresh. I want to go so I could see like my bro Dale and a few other stuff. Yes, sir. Definitely, man. I'd want to go to dap up Tommy James for sure. Yeah, and that's what sucks is me and Tommy were actually going to film a music video together there. Yeah, Brooklyn's filming. Uh, they're doing. He's doing a video for Sea Monster up in that bitch. Yeah, yeah and I was going to make a special guest collabo in that video. Nice, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, because uh, I remember Brooklyn was like when we were talking to Brooklyn. He's like, man. I will, I will hope Tommy wants me to do a video for Sea Monster. So I asked him, and he's like, uh, yeah, of course. Like, <laughs> why wouldn't you want Brooklyn to do a video for you? Shit. Shit. I, I would. Like, oh, <laughs> you seen that Yaya footage? I mean, everyone's trolling, saying I'm not going to the gathering, and I'm just going to tell y'all I wish I was trolling, but I'm not. <laughs> Oh man, Don. It saddens me to hear you say that shit, man. I'm gonna be there this year. You need to be there. I know, I know. That's why I told everyone I'm gonna be kicking myself. 
Just do me a favor. Spread unity there. Fuck that yeah, bro. Fucking. Because crazy, is man. Bullshit. Oh, man. I don't know, bro. Like, it's the twentieth. This is the fucking super gathering, man. Super, super. Oh, I, you'd be surprised. I'm getting blown up a lot because of that. Oh man, bro. I was like, I know, I know. What, what was the first? <laughs> gathering? What's your first gathering? My first gathering was last year, actually. Oh, really? So people are like telling me they're like you gotta go because they always say your second one is the best one. No, well, my first real one was the best one at Toledo. To yeah, me. that I mean that's the only one I went to, but it was fire. Peoria was dope. It was mad fucking dope, man. And uh, all all the indoor ones were fucking. Both the indoor ones were dope. There's two indoor ones, and that was that was it. <laughs> That sucks, man, because I think it would be so much better if it was all indoors. Little uh, redheaded rabbit. All I'm going, make sure you spray yourself from head to toe in bug spray like crazy because there's ticks out there like crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, them ticks are going to be nuts. I think I would imagine that the camp, the place would take care of the fucking place, like spray for Hi, how are you? Shit. Pretty good. Keep it mowed down enough to where you ain't got to worry about it so much. Like, if it's mowed, you ain't really got to worry, so. Got to worry about mosquitoes. Yeah. There. And they got foggers, so That's if people want to buy foggers, you can fog your whole site. I... They got these things, man. You put it in this long-ass fucking thing, you spray it on the ground, you walk around your whole fucking perimeter of your site, it keeps all the mosquitoes away. <laughs> I'm, like, walking around like a... That's good. I also think how to make a homemade essential oil that will help keep the bugs away, too. First three. Oh well, the first one was more like in the parking lot. <laughs> At least that's where. That's the only part I seen was in the parking lot. When Bedlam was there. In the parking lot and um um what the fuck, dude? Um, I forgot the name of the venue now. It was in Michigan though. Um, fucking A. Yeah, because we're also <laughs> going to celebrate my birthday early at the gathering, too. Yeah? Uh, what day is this? There we go. Oh, man. Looks like Miss Hollywood ain't gonna be able to give me my spankings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yo, so if you don't make it to the gathering, you best try to make it to Hollow Wicked, man. Oh, I definitely will. That uh, definitely. Yeah, bro, for sure, man, because Hollow Wicked is going to be lit as usual. It's funny, man, because like at this time of year, we're always talking about the gathering and or, or the uh, yeah, about this time of year, we're talking about the gathering and shit. So nobody even mentions the Hollow Wicked until like after the gathering's over. Shit's funny. It's like a timeline. <laughs> I can't talk about Hollow Wicked yet, but I want to see some dope ass artists of Hollow Wicked too. Yes. <sighs> and if Mac Lethal's going to perform again, I hope it ain't in the fucking JCW ring. That was kind of weird. Yeah, Mac Lethal's a talented dude. Yeah, he is. That fucking diss track, dude. That shit was five yards. He bodied him, bro. Well, yeah. Bro, I'm telling you what, man. Like Nova, Nova Rockefeller tweeted him was like, that diss track is garbage. We were laughing about it. It's like, no, you weren't. You just shut the fuck up, Nova Rockefeller. Shut up. One thing I can say is this beef between those two is going to look good for both of them. If it helps get both their names out there, good for them. Well, Mac Lethal's got a fucking huge name already from Facebook, YouTube. Yo, I'll be honest with you, man. I forgot all about... 
Tom McDonald because I forgot that he was dating Nova Rockefeller and Jay texted her or whatever. Remember that shit? Oh, I yeah. I forgot all about that until Crazy brought it up last night. I forgot about that, too. I just started putting two and two together when he started talking about Nova. I'm like, wait a minute. Is that the same motherfucker? Yep. And he's a little... Remember I, put, remember I put that dude's um, song in the chat one time, in our chat. Remember that? And I was like, man, we need to try to get this dude on the show. He sucks, kind of, but it would be cool to have him on. And I didn't even think about that at the time. <laughs> I've been told I have him on my show. I'm like, oh, maybe I should. Yeah, man. He walks around looking like a My Little Pony. I don't understand that shit. He said... He said he said, you calling me gay? Yeah, right. <laughs> he did it so, dude, I, I listened to it twice in a row, dude. Oh my god, dude. The max max fucking comeback was well worth the second listen, even the third. Yeah. Back dude, well, back I mean, I'm not saying that Tom McDonald's diss track wasn't good. It was good. I mean, Tim it was good Marcus. for what it was, but yeah. He's garbage. Like Tim most Tim of his is garbage. Was. But yeah. And when he stopped the video to do that wrestling bit, oh my god, dude. Oh yeah. Like, like, Let's watch, <laughs> Let watch this. Oh my god. Oh no, man. Mac Lethal is fucking pure fire, dude. He's got some bars for days, bro. Bars. Yeah, it's like I said, man. It's like I said that Tom McDonald. It wasn't great, but it wasn't that bad. He had some. He had some shots in there. Yeah, some he had shots, some good but, shots, I can say that, but he just... Yeah, he did have some good shots, but it wasn't nowhere. I knew he was... I said it, just like I said on the show, man. I said it, man. He, I said, Mac, Mac Lethal's going to bury him. Watch. And he did. No way, honey. I'm going to go ahead and get off for a bit, but thanks for having me on here, y'all. Hey, anytime, Don. Much love anytime, brother. You know that. Hell yeah. Thanks, y'all. Tune into the Hours of Chaos podcast tonight. Oh, oh yeah. Woo. You already know. Later, y'all. Later. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Oh, shit. <laughs> you kept calling him Tammy McDonald. <laughs> Tammy McDogfart. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Tammy McDogfart. Let's watch this. He said, let's watch this wrestling shit. Oh, what kind of move is that? <laughs> what the fuck? He said, you diss high CP? How dare you do that? Your girl is a... What did he say about you? Just the cloud, but your girl is a juggalette. Or whatever. Oh. Like, how he said it? You know what he said. <laughs> oh, my God. That was fire, bro. Like, if you guys have yeah. a look this shit, you need to, like, right now. <laughs> it's I'm absolute you, fire. Like, it's absolute fucking gold. It's it's just it reminds me of Eminem and MGK again. Like fucking Mac Lethal is Eminem and fucking little bitch boys MGK. <laughs> he got, dude, he got bodied. He did, he got bro. Bodied, dude. Except for MGK was diss track was better to Eminem than this Tommy Dog Fart. Yeah, whatever. oh yeah, for sure, yeah. Like, yeah. M, like I like MGK's diss. I was like, mm. I mean, player. you got balls for sure. You got balls for doing it. Like, you got balls for going against Eminem. But, man, he thought that because he thought, Mac, you know what I think he did? I think he didn't think he was going to respond. <laughs> That's what I think. He's like, oh, he probably won't even respond. You know what I mean? Only thing with Mac Lethal, dude, like it seems like every time he does a video, it's in the same fucking room. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, it's always in that room. I think that's where his studio is or something. <clears throat> he needs to fucking do some green screen shit or something, some crazy shit. I don't like the lame shit that he does when he does like, oh my kid, my this girl wrote this for her son, and I'm gonna wrap it out. I don't like that kind of that shit he does, but. No, I think he did pretty dope with that. That shit was pretty cool. Like, there's like one or two that's like all right, but like, I don't know. I don't really care for that. He did some other shit like back in the day, though, man, where he was just rapping about some crazy shit, man. Like, oh yeah, I yeah, I it was. Uh, it was I'm something. no stranger to Mac Lethal. <laughs> we know that. Oh yeah. 
I do jujitsu. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You wear tights and play fight. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what else? How he did it. He did the whole thing slow, too. Because remember when Tom McDonald said that he all he does is rap fast? Yeah. He did the whole thing slow and just buried him, bro. Like, front to back, dude. Kill yeah. Him. There's no coming back from that. I hope they let him try. Because this is going to be stupid. Mm-hmm. There's, I mean, it's... <laughs> Pointless, bro. Pointless to try to come back to that. Mm -hmm. He's done. Like, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you later, Tom McDog Fart. <laughs> Yo, Tammy McDog Fart. That shit was. <laughs> Dude, like, oh my god! And the beat he used, oh my god! Oh. Woo! Dude, as soon as it starts, you're just like, oh my god! He's like, I didn't even expect him to do that wrestling bit in the middle. Like, I was like, what? Oh my god! He did the announcer voice and everything. Yeah. Standing six foot. I mean, five eight. <laughs> <laughs> He says five eight. I mean six foot something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is fucking great. I know. I was gonna play it this morning, and then I was like, "That I couldn't for that beat because that beat's copyrighted." Oh, I yeah. wouldn't play it though. Fuck it. You might as well stall on Creative Commons and shout it out. Put the fucking right. link down in the in the description and play it. That shit's well worth it, bro. Like. I guess we don't need to have fucking monetization every episode, but <laughs> I don't even. I mean, I don't even know because I I decided to do the whole reggae thing, and so I don't. I was just going through SoundCloud playing reggae as long as it wasn't Bob Marley. I don't even know if we got a copy. Probably, I don't know. Well, I'd imagine that reggae shit's fire though. I was liking that. Yeah, man, that was a good switch up. I because I'm tired of playing the same shit all the time. Hell yeah. I'll show you. Just don't play no country, man, because I won't be watching that day. <laughs> yeah, no, I ain't playing that shit. Yeah. Fuck that. You can play that. Well, oh, that's probably copyright too, but that uh, Old Town Road dude, that song that, he, that dude does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> seems to be catchy, man. Like, a lot of these kids are into that shit. It's like, God damn. Oh, yeah. That, the kids love that joint. It's got to be probably one of the better catchy songs I've heard in yeah. a while. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of them just are fucking stupid. Yeah. That just don't make sense at all. Like this shows, it just makes you think of like a country singer. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know, just right. Not really. Yeah. Well, I got. I, we might as well fucking end this shit. Fucking, I'm gonna uh, tell you about this thing off air. Oh hell yeah! Hell yeah! So uh, much love, y'all motherfuckers. We love all y'all in the chat. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see y'all motherfuckers Sunday. Shout out to Hell Spit. We got nothing but love for you, bro. You're a number. You're a day one. -er. I knew. I knew that. I knew that shit. That when you were saying that shit, I didn't. I, that's why I had to mention it. You know what I mean? I wasn't shit talking. I just mentioned when I a hey, when something upsets me, I'm gonna talk about it. That's how it is. <laughs> Hell yeah. And on that note. Yeah. Much love, homies. All y'all motherfuckers. Much love. Tell, tell Scotch all y'all back. Don't forget that shit. That's right. Other than that, we out, motherfuckers. Whoop, whoop. <laughs>